And we're going live. Hey, look at that. Let's hope that's working. <coughs> hey guys, uh, today I am playing some. Well, hey guys, this is Casper with Tape, and today I'm going to be building a uh, thing to go to Eve, and it's going to be a big old base that drives, that maybe floats, hopefully, maybe has something that, that flies around. I don't know, we're going to go a little crazy, maybe? I'm not entirely sure. Uh, hey Ash Games, hey Chris Gamer, hey Sir Staple, hey Kadar Gaming. Good to see you all. I'm just gonna make sure the audio is working. Uh, brace for streamception. The drives, the. Nice, that sounds about right. Okay, cool. So we're gonna want a big old rover thing. Hey Sambol, how you doing? Um, Alright, so we're gonna want a big old rover, and I think at the start of big any big rover should be a nice big cupular module, so you can get a good vision of the uh, front of. Well, where you're heading, you know. The pilot's got to know what he's doing. Uh, so, okay. Controls are a little little weird. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> hey, I'm a lizard. You too are a beautiful bastard. Uh, hey, Dorf. From North Dakota. Hello. Point Clearius Gaming. Alright, cool. Let's, uh, let's start building it. So I'm thinking we're going to want to sort of... This is the main fuselage. And... Obviously, then we're going to want some um, crew space, so I guess that's utility? Yeah, okay. Remember where everything is. Um, Alright, cool. I'm just going to make sure this is actually doing what I want. This is the main... Nice, okay, cool. It looks like it's working. Um, Alright, cool. Um, oh, I need to notify the Discord. Ugh, me and my forgetting things. Um, ooh, my uh, Discord's logo has been updated to my new logo. Very fancy. Um, it's looking uh, good. All right, cool. I'm just going to drop a thing in general. Um, add everyone. Yes, I will add everyone. I'm live now. I'm just going to grab the link on announcements. Copy. Just Oh, yeah, Discord copies are weird. I just want to play a YouTube thing. There we go. Now, ooh, yes, send. All right. Now uh, we're all good. Cool. Let's continue with the base building. Hello, Fat Boy Slim. Um, how you doing? All right. How much? But that's got to be lots of space. Yeah, that's lots of good. Good old space. That's nice. Um, and then let's throw on the back bit, like this. Ooh, I like that. Nice. Right. So that's the core of everything. Ooh, it needs a name. Hmm. The lathe roving base. Let's just call this uh, lathe base for now, because <laughs> I'm uh, uh, very uninventive. You want the uh, old avatar back? I am lizard. Well, I'm sorry, man. I'm uh, going the modern way and uh, making it sleeker and you know, um, uh, you know, sleeker and more minimalist and you know, shittier. That's that's what I want out of this. <laughs> No, I just think it's uh, better, and it fits in the circle, because my old logo I just didn't update when they stopped doing square logos, so it just never really fit and always looked like shit. Um, yeah. Oh, hey, Latra. How you doing? Um, I think I might mod some people this stream on account of me ne needing some mods. Um, <laughs> uh, so I guess I will just kind of select people as we go. Actually, Latra should really be a mod. Um, I trust Latra. Uh, hey, there we go. Okay, I got the right person, not just uh, randomly modding people. Um, I realized last stream I was like, oh, I don't have any mods, you know? I, I gotta pretend to be professional, you know? Um, where's the science lab? I'd like one of them. Um, yeah, I guess uh, we could have that kind of thing. A couple science labs. Um, need more yellow in the red for the logo. What? Yellow in the red for the logo? God. You are uh, not a graphic designer, are you? <laughs> Just make all the Discord mods mods. Oh yeah, Jimmy, you should probably also be a mod. Um, yeah. Oh, and also, hey, Jimmy. Um, yeah, alright, cool. Um, <laughs> oh, that's good to hear, Lutra. Um Well, semi-good to hear. You got your decent-ish, so it's, it's good-ish to hear. <laughs> All right, cool. Um, right, there we go. Nice. So it's gonna basically. I'm thinking we want a core and then an outer bit with some like aux auxiliary things. Um, 
And maybe what we want actually is like a little walkway here. That might be cool. Um, I've never really built a big roving base, and I was like, I should do that. And it would also be a good, um, a good, uh, a good way to see the new textures on lathe. Because one point ten KSP is out, and I wanted to see the new lathe textures. They're not like a massive change, but they're a change. So yeah, um, <laughs> you you are indeed not a graphic designer, Point Clarice. Yeah, I think uh, yellow is not the best uh, best match with red and black. Um, Alright, cool. So let's take a look at making a little walkway so that our Kerbals can walk, or walk around without leaving the ship. Because that would be rather nice, I think. Uh, yeah. Okay, cool. Um, ooh, ooh, ooh. Is that looking? There we go. Um, yeah, that kind of thing. And then these will need to be raised up slightly. And also strutted at some point, but we can deal with that. And the nice thing about going to lathe is Kerbin's pretty similar to lathe, so we can just kind of test on uh, test on Kerbin, which is good. Are you putting flags on all the things? Yeah, I can put some flags on some stuff. Um, I think I'm just using the NASA flag, but uh, you know, <clears throat> so we could have a flag competition. Um, someone could send me flags. All right, what else do we want on these auxiliary bits? Um, ooh, the new probe. Oh yeah, that's part of the ESA pack, right? That's pretty cool. Um, won't be using that today. Uh, ooh, and the MTM stage. That's also, I think, part of the ESA pack, from what I remember. Unless this is old and I just have I'm not up to date, um, which is, you know, very possible. Um, hmm. You know what we could have on the auxiliary bits is. Ooh, this could be cool. So if I get myself another one of these adapters, like so, we could have a little garage. Oh, well, a couple of little garages. Um, <laughs> or garages, if you're pronouncing it. Ooh, a different grabbing hand. That's, oh, it's a small grabbing hand. That's cool. <laughs> ah, lots of new stuff. Um, I don't, don't know exactly what new stuff they've added, but I uh, guess we could find out. Yeah, so if we did that, right, and then had these at the back, right, that might be a cool little roving base. Yeah, could work. It's a, it's a start. Or maybe this should be in the middle. Maybe we only really need one. Yeah, okay, right. So I'm going to put that there for now and put this here for now. Then we have one garage. Don't know why I'm saying it so weirdly. Uh, I don't fucking know. <clears throat> Let's change things up a bit and make your logo <laughs> yellow and black. Um, not a big fan. Um, you know what they say about tiny grabbing hands? Tiny grabbing shoes? Haha, <laughs> comedy, comedy, classic comedy. Good job, me. Good job. Um, oh, and what we could do is have the doors on the side. Thusly. Hmm. We want a different adapter for that, though. Because we want some walk space. So let's go for this one, like that. Like that. Excellent. Excellent. Alright. Nice. Okay. I'm liking it. I'm liking it so far. And then we'll have it at the back like that. And then let's just grab a nose cone for now. And I think we've got kind of the basic structure here. Yeah, so we've got lots of living space. We've got some science doing space. We've got a bit of fuel. And we've got a cool little uh, rover back. A little uh, rover back garage for rovers, is what I meant to say. Tiny hands need a tiny mind. Complicated. How about some VC action? Viet Cong? You want, you want me to go find some Viet Cong on lathe? I don't think the Viet Cong operated in the Kerbin system. <clears throat> That'd be... Is the VC... Is it spelled with a C? Would it be VK? I don't know. Uh, maybe some backwards facing props. That, that would look cool. Yeah, maybe. I'm not sure how that would look on a... Uh, um, oh, damn. I used the uh, point there. I'm not sure how props would look on a... On a uh, rover, because we're building a rover, not a plane. My god, man. Um, so, <laughs> yeah. Alright. Stick. Oh, come on. Come on, KSP. Do your thing. Do the thing. Come on. God damn. 
God damn, god damn, god damn. Can you just connect? Thank you. Connect. There we go. Oh, God. What a mess. Um. <laughs> oh, voice channel. Uh, maybe sometime. Not right now, though. Um. Okay, so how does it move? So how does it move? Well, wheels. Uh, <laughs> or a million propellers, like last time. <laughs> but I, I'm, I'm doing something less a million propellery than my last stream, which was mostly about a million propellers. Um, Alright, cool. Uh, I'm going to need lots of struts. Uh, in fact, maybe these shouldn't all be connected by one thing. Let's see if we can get that going. Um, kind of get it all segmented a little more. Uh, like so. God damn. Can you... There we go. No? Ah! Uh, why? Why are you like this Kerbal Space Program? Ah! Uh, ah! Uh, why? Oh, god damn it. Can you just... Please? There we go. Now it's looking okay. Yeah, that'll be a little better. Because then at least we have two connection points. And we'll use struts to stabilize it. But it means we can have some things break without everything breaking. Um, I like that idea of not everything breaking all at once, you know. Okay, cool. Uh, honestly, it looks really cool right now. I like it. I like it as a rover, you know. I, I think it's a good looking good looking piece of kit. I'm just wondering which bit is the actual crew hatch, because are they both crew hatches? I don't know. I guess we'll find out. Hold alt for node-only attachment. Yeah, that is what I wanted. Thank you for reminding me. Um, okay, cool. Uh, so I'm going to use physical struts because you know I'm 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 old school. I'm not about these new, you know, young generation auto struts. You know, I'm a, uh, not not some some strut millennial. Um, <laughs> I'm actually not a millennial at all. I'm a, I'm a Gen Z. Um, I, I I fought with that for a long time, really not wanting to be Gen Z. I was like, no, I'm a millennial. 1997 counts as millennial, but it doesn't. And uh, then I realized, oh wait, I. Uh, uh, I was vaping at the time as well, so I was like, wait, I have a YouTube, I have a, I'm a social media influencer and I vape. I am definitely Gen Z. <laughs> and then I came to terms with it, so. <laughs> yeah. Oh, man. Yeah, I'm Gen Z as fuck. It's amazing. Uh, and I've, yeah, totally come to terms with it. Looks more like a plane to be H. Um, but go on. Yeah, it's, it's a little planey. Um, because it's made of plane parts, uh, but... You know, it will be a rover. It'll be the greatest rover. It'll be uh, the most beautiful rover. A lot of smart people have been saying we've got the best rovers. Um. <laughs> ah. <laughs> the KSP build system. It's always infuriating doing... Uh, I, should, I should just not angle snap. There we go. Okay. It's going to be good to have a big beam in the way. Um, hopefully we can just climb over that. Um, I am Lizard. You disagree? Disagree with... Ooh, I've said a lot of things. Propellers. <laughs> we'll we'll have a propeller thing on this. You know, we're going to have more than just a rover. It's going to have a bunch of shit. How many parts is this? 43. We can put loads of stuff on this. And I'm going to try and legitimately fly it to Eve. Uh, Eve, sorry, Lathe. I did put Lathe in the description, right? Not Eve. Thank Christ. <laughs> It, it, yeah, it won't it won't flip because it is thick, and as we saw on Robot Wars uh, with Penguin, I am the master of making things that don't flip. So it looks like a ground effect vehicle. It could also be a ground effect vehicle. Um, <laughs> you uh, lay the crano plan. Our Lord has returned again, DJ Mac. Well, your Lord, obviously. I am just not, I'm not my own Lord. You know, I'm just uh, just uh, yeah, just uh, just me to me. You know. Um, there we go. Look at that. Beautiful. Alright, let's give this a preliminary shot. Uh, see what happens. Let's throw on some random batteries for now. We'll replace them with something nicer looking at some point, but for now we just need some batteries. Come on. Get on there. You bastard. There we go. And some RTGs for fun. Right. Let's see if this drives at all. Do we have a Kerbal? We have Jedlin. Jedlin will be commanding this mission. A reverse propeller, aka windmill. Oh god. 
a crano plan. Uh, lizard agrees with a crano plan. Yeah. It's not what we're doing. We're doing a roving, floating base. So it will need propellers to move through the water. So yeah, we could do that. It's a little flexy right now. These are very flexy, but we can forget about that. But generally, fairly solid. I like it. All right. Turns like a dog. Well, a dog turns pretty fast. Don't know why a dog is always used to denote something bad. Dogs are pretty cool. Um, it turns badly, is what I, what I meant to say. But, uh, you know, it's a big thing. It's a big boy. Uh, it's, a, it's a big, big boy. Um, yeah, all right. I might make it partially foldable to make it easier to fly. Um, mostly the wheels. So there will be some robotics, um, but we'll we'll look into that. All right, cool. That basically drives, and it is now out of electric charge. So let's revert. Ah. Next thing you should add is a scout rover in the back. Yes, yes, that's the plan. Um, probably not the next thing I add, um, you know, but uh, it'll be one of the many things that get added. Uh, we need some ladders and things, some actual power generation. We're going to make the thing work first. It also needs to be amphibious, because for some reason I said I'd do that. Um, I make bad decisions. Alright, <clears throat> so, I'm thinking we might just go with jet engines rather than propellers. Propellers are just going to be a bloody hassle, and I know everyone's going to be upset about that. But, um, well, I'm in charge here, so... <laughs> You're going to be fucking pleased about it. <laughs> Where is the structural... The, the smaller one of these. Oh, no, that is the one I want. Where's the bigger one, then? No idea. Do we have cool shit? No, oh, orange. Oof. Terrible. Okay, cool. Um, so, for now, we're just going to go with a couple of jet engines. So, we'll need a couple of air intakes. And see if that can move us through the water um, at some point. Uh, yeah, okay, cool. So, air intakes. We're going to want just a, some normal air intakes up top. That should be sufficient. Like so. It doesn't need to move quickly through the water. Um, but it will need... It might need a tailplane, but for now I think we're okay. Okay. So let's put the power generation inside. Rapier engines? Eh... Eh, we don't really need rapier engines. I think someone's calling me a coward for not uh, doing propeller engines, which, uh, <laughs> you know, uh, propeller engines, we've done a lot of propeller engines. We, the whole, a lot of our stream, a lot of my streams have been uh, propeller engines. I think we, we've had our fill of propeller engines for now. Um, I think for now we're just going to focus on building a big old lathe rover. Um, I'm going to put some RTGs in it, but also... You know what, let's just put these further in. Um, but also, I think solar panels will be fine, because we're going to be... Well, I guess they won't work that well on lathe, but still. I am going to put some solar panels on it. Um, some big old... Uh, these solar panels for now. Um, like so. And that should help a little bit. There we go. God damn. Um, you need ISIUs and drills if you want to be, if you want this to be self-sufficient. Well, it's going to be an electric drive. Oh, I guess the jets. We yeah, we could put an ISIU on it. That could be part of this. We could totally do an ISIU. Um, yeah, we'll look into that. We got a lot of time. Interplanetary propellers. I'm not sure you know how propellers work, but I like your spirit. That's good stuff. <laughs> Everything's interplanetary if you're brave enough. What's the temperature like on the surface of lathe? I think it's just below freezing. Oh, no, actually, no. I think it's just above freezing, hence the water. Let's try out these engines. See if it makes us go real fast. For some reason, they're flaming out. I guess we're not moving fast enough. Come on, wheels. You've got this. Aircraft carrier rover. It will carry aircraft. There will be a helipad on it. At least one aircraft. <laughs> I'm making too many promises. It's going to have a lot of cool shit on it. It's going to be the best rover. You're going to be like, whoa, Peter, that's the best rover. You should be the President of the United States of America. 
And I don't know why rovers would uh, make you think that, but you know, Ooh, we're doing the best we got here. I can probably take the oxidizer out as well. Although it does need to be able to jump, obviously. So uh, we're probably going to need some rocket engines as well. More intakes. We have two engines. We don't need more intakes. Get out of here. But don't. Stay. Watch. Enjoy. Shower me with love. Um, <laughs> you gotta go slow. I don't go slow. Um, God, there's something on my screen. God, I when you have like a <laughs> white bit on the on the game, you're like, oh, my screen is so dirty. It's gross. I really should clean it up. Um, now, how will you launch this to lathe? That is a separate question, Bowser. Um, <laughs> isn't it like liquid methane on? Uh, lathe. I think, yeah, I think it might not be water. Um, oh god! Too hard! Oh no! Pretty tough. Pretty tough old girl. Um, the water on lathe could have high saline content and not freeze as ju uh, just below freezing. That's true. Also, the atmospheric pressure is lower on, on lathe, so perhaps the water doesn't freeze because of that. Unless I've got that backwards. No, I think I have that right. I don't know. I think you're talking about Titan, Lathe's Ocean of Liquid Water, somehow. I think you're right about that. I think it says it in the description. Okay, we're going to hit a little hard, and I don't have time to reverse thrust, so let's go! Oh, actually, not too bad. And it floats, because Kerbal Space Program. And does it move across water? Oh, we got a flame out. We got a flame out. Okay, let's throttle down a bit. Okay. Why is this one constantly flaming out? Oh no, it's going. Okay. Reverse thrust. Come on! Forward thrust! Jewel is a giant fucking green jewel. <laughs> oh yeah, it's a... Uh, it's, uh, it's, you know, you gotta, gotta rip that jewel on, on jewel. Why is this thrust so much lower? You're a real asshole. Maybe it's just the it is, maybe it is indeed the uh, air intakes. Well, anyway, it floats. That's enough for me. We'll figure out the specifics later. Um, I think someone was right about more intakes. I'm sorry if I could do some awful thing, which I probably did. That sounds like me. I say terrible things whenever anyone says anything because I think it's uh, makes a funny joke. <laughs> oh, I can never tell if people know I'm joking though. But, you know, it, it doesn't really matter. <laughs> Hardly affects me. Um, I was referring to a previous comet. Oh, I see. Um, make them panther engines. They're not very good in the low atmosphere. We're thinking about fuel conservation, my dude. So, uh, yeah. Um, we might double up the engines as well. Uh, have four engines instead of just two. <coughs> but again, we don't have to be too speedy, you know? All right. Uh, I didn't really check the, how the power was working there, but um, I'm going to assume fine. And now we're going to start, well, yeah, start adding some things. So I think maybe an ISRU is going to be needed. So I'm going to have to take this apart. <laughs> Which is going to be a real fucking hassle. Um, yeah, but it can be in part of the cargo bay. Oh, everything's attached to this piece. Why is that always the way? <laughs> Maybe I could put the ISU on the sides. Let's do that. That sounds much better than <laughs> redoing all of this. All right, let's take these wheels off, and then throw away that crew cabin, and get ourselves a cargo bay, and we'll put an ISU in there. Oh, but the cargo bay needs to open downward. Ah, oh, let's put it in the middle. God damn. God damn it, Peter. You always make it more difficult than it has to be. Or does it need to open downward? No, it doesn't, but I'd like it to. Put the wheels back on, goddamn. Alright, okay. i got to replace this piece, though, kind of. Because that's where it should really go. Uh, okay, let's take these batteries off. We can put them on later. Um, okay. Pull that off. Pull this on. Um, close. And reattach this like so. And then we can just kind of move that around with the tweak tools. Um, lathe does have liquid water for its oceans. Yeah, that's what I thought. I think it is indeed liquid water for so just somehow. Um, space magic. 
Eh, it's pretty well lined up. Near enough. <laughs> uh, it's like I always say, that's how NASA does it. They uh, look at it and they're like, eh, near enough. There we go. Cool. Um, how do you launch a... How do you plan to launch a rover that big? With a great deal of rockets. Um, <laughs> obviously. <laughs> Uh, sheer stupidity is usually the way I go with, uh, um, just, you know, just maximum dumb. And that usually works out for me somehow. Uh, right. Where are the drills? So we need the convert, we need the big old convertitron. Like so. And we need a drill. Can I attach this to the convertitron? No. Um, you know what? <sighs> Can you just, please? Okay. We'll just tweak this to where it needs to be. Oh no, I took off the boardwalk. Um, Alright. Let's just tweak this out here. And put that there. Like so. I know I could do more than one drill, but I'm not going to. Uh, and we'll also need an ore tank. We'll get a large holding tank. Ah, oh, that's where the drill is, damn it. Okay, right, we'll put the large holding tank here. Oh, but now the drill can't, doesn't have space to come out. Ugh, damn it. We'll put, the, we'll put that somewhere else. <laughs> we'll, we'll just figure that out later. Alright, cool. Clip the wheels into the base, that would look better. It would, you are right. We will, uh... You mean like coming out of the bottom? That might look cool. We'll figure that out. We'll make it more aesthetically pleasing as we go as well. Um, okay, we also need at least some radiators if we're going to be drilling, even though lathe does have an atmosphere, so cooling isn't too big of a problem. Um, but still, let's throw on some radiators. Uh, do we want these things, maybe? That might be cool. Eh. 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 <laughs> I don't know if I like it. For now, it's fine. We'll obviously probably test all of this, maybe. You don't need a lot of ore storage. Um, it's going to get immediately converted to fuel. That's true. You're assuming I'm building this properly, though, and it'll uh, <laughs> be able to convert it all to fuel. Um, let's put the ore storage in the front to make it massively front-heavy. I think that's the way to go. Uh, uh, you know, I'm not a uh, rocket scientist, but I think that's what the best way to do it. Make it massively front heavy. <laughs> maybe we'll change it, maybe we won't. Can I retexture these? No. God damn. Alright, okay, it's coming together. It's a little ugly right now, but we'll uh, sort that out. Um, yeah, and let's move these wheels in a bit, make it look a little, little nicer. Um, can we get a road to colonization two, please? Uh, a road to colonization part two. Um, probably not. <laughs> I'm not going to do like really big KSP series anymore. Those are uh, a lot of work, and I don't really have time for doing that kind of a, that sort of that level of work on a series. Um, Probably going to be more like a lot of these streams and the occasional video, like the uh, VR video I put up uh, in the week, um, which was a lot of fun. Uh, I do love hot dogs, horseshoes, and hand grenades. Uh, it's pretty great. All right, cool. That is looking better. I like it a lot. Even some rocket scientists aren't good at rockets. I mean, yeah, sometimes yeah, <laughs> there's some pretty dumb mistakes that lead to uh, rockets failing, although as a software engineer, I completely understand why that happens. Um, I mean, I can barely get a get a website builder working without a massive failures, so <laughs> don't tell my boss. Ooh, my phone just went off in an obnoxious way. Let's check that. Uh, ugh. God. <laughs> um, <laughs> just waiting for quarantine to be over so I can talk to my family less. Ugh. Uh, ooh. Uh, in good quarantine news, I'm going to be going back to into my office next week. 
so I won't have to work from home anymore. And some parts of working from home are good, but some parts are really annoying. So uh, I'm looking forward to be working from my office again. That'll be nice. Well, actually, it's a new job, so I've never been to the office. Um, so it'll be a first. <laughs> All right, let's grab some old RTGs. I was going to say good old RTGs. Just said old RTGs. Don't think about it. Ah, that looks like shit. <laughs> Let's uh, put these out like this. Why are you tilted? We need some new ones. There we go, that's better. Get these out of here. Get them out. Alright. <clears throat> Let's throw those on there. That looks like shit, I like it. Yeah, near enough. That's what we're going for. Near enough. Good. Good, good. That's a big boy you're building. It is Miles. It is the a big old big old rovy boy. It's gonna rove a lot and be big while it does it. Um cool. Right, so we got an ISIU. We got cooling, we got power, we got labs for some reason, we got accommodation, we got uh fuel. I want to test the power systems, and then I'm going to try vertical engines, and then a little rover to go in the back. Hashtag Matlan sucks. Damn right, Ash Gaming. <laughs> I think uh, most of your rovers look quite nice. Uh, like most of Matt Land's rovers look quite nice. Indeed, yeah, Matt Land's a good rover designer, even though hashtag Matt Land sucks. Um, but <laughs> yeah. All right. How's that looking? It doesn't turn very well. Are these? Are they locked because they're too far in? Or is this just how it turns? I think the steering might be locked because they're clipped so much. Um, hmm. I'm not sure. Yeah, it seems to be turning less. It might just be because it's massively heavy now. I'm not sure. Uh, making videos about indie games might be a good idea for future videos. I don't make videos though, so I wouldn't know. Yeah, I like playing certain indie games. Um, I have some ideas for that kind of thing, and I probably will start doing that kind of thing at some point. But uh, taking it easy for now, just kind of slowly getting back into it, because um, it, it is a lot to to tube. But uh, yeah, I do like um, indie games. I think, I, like I was saying last year, my favorite game of the last couple of years has been Disco Elysium. Um, so yeah, I, you know, maybe that kind of thing if people want to see it. Um, but for now, I'm just gonna relax with some KSP. That's just how the big wheels turn. Yeah, maybe um, block stacker, but it was turning faster before. But it is heavier now, so I guess we'll see. Um, I guess we just uh, yeah. See, I think that's turning a little more. Maybe, maybe it's not. Maybe I'm just imagining it. But as long as it kind of turns, it's not like we need to do like uh, tight maneuvers on lathe, there's nothing there, so. Um, like Star Citizen, I wouldn't call that an indie game. Um, it's probably a triple A studio at this point. Um, but yeah, I did uh, say last time I might play some Star Citizen. Um, could be fun. And I've been seeing Jimmy's screenshots in the Discord. It's for more for, it's further along than I thought it was, which is cool. Yeah, that, that seems to work. Um, turning takes up an insane amount of electricity, so we won't do that too much, but I can drive just fine. Alright, let's uh, try out the ore, uh, the ore stuff. Um, just to answer that question, Jimmy, and yes I have, they look great. Man, this stops slowly. Let's start preparing. Um, see if I can run the drill at full tilt. Um, I might throw in some ore as well, just to see if I can run the ISIU. Um, deploy drill. <laughs> Maybe that'll stop me. I think it actually is functioning as a brake. That's cool. It's like an anchor. Um, <laughs> uh, okay, start surface harvester. There we go. Are we actually getting any ore? Well, we are getting a little bit of ore. That's surprising. I didn't know there was ore here. Um, now we're getting, like, no ore. Interesting. Anyway, can we also run the converter? 
for locks. It seems like we can. And the thermal efficiency is god awful. What is happening? Are these cooling too much? Or not enough? <clears throat> no, I didn't activate them. That's probably why the thermal efficiency is so bad. Or maybe just a bunch of bullshit. I don't know. I've never quite understood the thermal efficiency stuff. It doesn't really uh, work properly. <laughs> uh, I remember in Road to Colonization it being an absolute fucking hassle. Okay. How's the thermal efficiency now? Still pretty bad. Huh. The drill barely reaches the ground. You barely reach the ground. <laughs> Don't know what I'm talking about there, but yeah, yeah. Uh, it, it's, it's enough, though. It's, it's doing its thing. Um, but why is the thermal efficiency so goddamn bad? I know it's really hot. Maybe I just need way more radiators? But I have loads of radiators activated. Let's go warp into no, uh, daytime. Um, all of these should be cooling. They're not even cooling very... Maybe if I stop this. Hmm. Uh, do the radiators need to be on the thing itself? Maybe. But you can't put them on the drill, so I don't think so. 21%, um, but it drops so quickly. Why is it heating up so much? Maybe these just don't have the capacity to cool it? Could be. Stop the RCU. Yeah, alright. Let's just put on a bunch of really big radiators. See if that helps. You need the extended radiators. Right, right, yeah. Yeah, we're going to try some big old radiators. Um, see if that helps. Alright. Cool. Uh, maybe the really big one. Do it like that. Just uh, one big one, no redundancy. I like the thought of that, yeah. <laughs> I think things through. No redundancy. Redundancy is extra mass, and we don't want that. Um, if Well, if the thing flips, we're fucked. So. Maybe I'll put on a self-writing mechanism like in Robot Wars. Um, yeah. Alright, cool. Let's try it with the big radiator. <sighs> nice. How much does this weigh? I'm uh, interested to know. It weighs 159 tons. It's going to be tricky to get this to Eve. The lathe, even. But, um... Planning 101. You're damn right, DJ Mac. Who needs redundancy when you have big? Exactly. The Xeni ones are fantastic when they break. <laughs> uh, okay. That doesn't sound true. Um... 150 tons, and it's probably going to go up to about 200, so it's going to be tricky to get to lathe, but we uh, we can do it. You know, uh, we, we it'll be fine. Uh, yeah. I also need to try out these walkways with some kerbals. And also make the thing just generally look prettier. Alright, let's stick the drill in. <laughs> Giggity. <laughs> oh. Wait, I should have deployed this first. Alright, get that thermal efficiency. Start service harvester. Oh yeah, look at that thermal efficiency. 100%. Nice. Now we're, now we're drilling. Now we're drilling for ore. Do I need... Can I do both, do you reckon? No. We cannot do both. <laughs> um... Alright, what if we stop the drill? If we can do one at a time, that'd be good. No, okay, interesting. We can't... The core temperature is too low. Interesting. If I... I want to keep this open real quick. What if I retract the radiator? So you're just a massive asshole, basically. Oh, it's because the liquid fuel's full. Right, okay. We're going to revert. Need Harry Kerman to get the drilling done. Who's Harry Kerman? What? <laughs> what are you talking about, man? You mad? Alright, cool. Maybe assemble it in orbit. Nah, I'm not putting a docking port in the middle of this. 
What are you mad? It needs to be symmetrical. We're just going to use a stupid rocket. That's what Kerbal's, the Kerbal Space Program is about, you know. We're not a, uh, uh, we're not, we're not, you know, planning ahead. We're just building whatever we want, strapping the biggest rocket you've ever seen to it, and launching it. I don't know what I'm going to do about re-entry. I might just cheat. <laughs> Um, I also don't know what I'm going to do about landing this thing. Um, I won't cheat on that. I may cheat on re-entry because I cannot be bothered to handle it. Um, <laughs> or maybe I'll find a solution. Just loads of heat shields. <laughs> but I'm a big fan of the cheating idea. Um, the editor really... They added the really big shit for a reason. I know we have 5 meter rockets now. Do I even need oxidizer? Yep, we're going to have jumping engines. Um, because, I don't know, why not? Why not have jumping engines? Alright, let's deploy the drill. Let's start drill, baby, drill. Come on, start drill. No, don't retract the drill, no! <laughs> Damn it! <sighs> These animations, they take so long. Um, yeah, remove oxidizers and empty that tank by three quarter. No. N no. <laughs> How dare you? We need the oxidizer because we're going to have jumping engines. And I'm not going to empty the tanks because I want fuel when I get there. So I don't want to actually have to drill. <laughs> have you ever drilled? Hey, look at that. Loads of thermal efficiency. Nice. 100%. 100%. Yeah, baby. Look at that. Beautiful. 0.5% <sighs> load. That's what I like to hear. I guess there just isn't very much ore here. Um... Yeah. Still, though, we could fill up that liquid fuel tank in a matter of years. <laughs> Alright, cool. So that works. Let's build a cool little rover to go in the back. Yeah, just envelop it in a massive fairing. Now, I discovered last time that fairings are not heat-proof, so that might not be the way to get it through the atmosphere. But, you know, it's fine. Um, right. So what I'm going to want is a small rover in here, and I'm going to docking port it, even if that... And I'll put a grabbing arm as well as redundancy. Well, you can have robot parts now, though, so, dock, so a docking port might be uh, the best way to go. Um, coupling. Small docking port. Hmm, that's probably too far in. Um, we grab a very small RCS tank. Come on, man. Attach. At attach, goddamn. There we go. I'm going to build a rover outside and then just put it in. We'll just use one of these. Um, out of the way. Nice. Gonna build a cool little scout rover. Hey, Jimmy, what happened to Kerbal Combat? Oh, that's not a question for me. Um, <laughs> what kind of cool rover do I want? Ooh, I know what I want. I think Cupula now has different settings. Maybe, no, it's the Lander Can that has the cool rover settings. Um, where's the Lander Can? Oh, here. Now oh, they retextured it at some point. <laughs> nice. Look at that. Beautiful. Uh, so that's basically most of what I need rover-wise. <laughs> it's got monopropellant and an electric charge. We'll just put some small wheels on it and we'll be away. We want to keep parts down a little bit, so we'll cover up these windows because, you know, whatever. Um, I might also need to tuck these in quite a bit. It's a car within a car. Ooh, where's the crew hatch? I think it's on the back. So we're fine. We'll need to move that uh, docking port, though. Okay. Liking the look of this. Is the crew hatch on the back? It appears to be. What a terrible place to have a... <laughs> what a terrible place to have a connection point. Um, but for now, it's fine. Right. It's upside down. Mmm, it is indeed. <laughs> lucky, uh, lucky uh, I caught that. 
totally me, no, no one else. Um, oh, I guess that's the crew hatch. I guess either of them can be crew hatches. And I think it's a crew hatch if you're brave enough. Oh, and that'll uh, allow the wheels to fit on properly. Nice! Learning things as we go. <laughs> build it separately. Eh, don't need to. Just build it here. Um, it only needs to kind of work. Hmm. Uh, right, I'm going to put a couple of RTGs on it to keep it mostly going. But we're going to want some solar panels for stationary charging. Okay. Uh, can't have that one there. Four is fine. Um, so if we get a couple of those on the top. Yeah, if we put a couple of these on the top, extend them. Yeah, let's just go with one because it won't clip. I don't like it when it clips. Um, nice. Yeah, let's try that out. Might be fun. Um, we need it not to connect at the back though, because we're going to want to get out in the back. Um, so we'll connect it onto the floor. Um, down. I'm going to keep that docking port there though because it could be useful for something else, maybe. I don't know. It's good to have redundancy. Um, like that. Oh, docking on the... Mm. Huh. You know what? I might have it decouple and then have a grabbing arm here. Like a new small one. Um, that seems like a good way to go. Small grabby arm. For small grabbing. Nice. Okay. And then we'll just uh, have it a couple of. Uh, yeah, I guess it's stack separator. We want a stack separator. Oh, but we don't want the stack separator. Damn it. Okay. Here's the plan. Here's the plan. We put a stack separator here, attach it frontwise. And then we'll have like a robot arm or something to grab it when it comes back in. That sounds like a good idea. Um, I mean, not like a re not like a good good idea, but for me, you know, like a a tape level good idea. And we'll put the engines back on. Nice, cool. What happened to no redundancy? Oh my god, you're right. Um, <laughs> I'm uh, I'm building it all wrong. <laughs> uh. I have to go table. See you later. In my honor, I requested a tiny plane with two command seats and cargo storage space. Uh, we're going to have some kind of aircraft that will dedicate to you, but not a tiny plane. Um, you gotta, you got to pay for that kind of honor. <laughs> joking. Ish. Alright. Oh, I only put one of the engines back on. Nice. Nailed it. That's a good point. Is this going to be able to drive back in? We'll find out. Eh. Is that? Oh, that's a Mark II lander can. You're getting in there. No, we need a pilot. Rig bar. Okay. Yeah, let's give this a shot. <sighs> I'm just going to grab some more water real quick. My throat's getting a little, uh, a little, uh, coarse. Okay. Alright. Okay. Let's extend this a little more, like so. Yeah, put the brakes on. Decouple. That's a good sign. I assume that was just the stack separator. But you can never be sure. And let's go! Beautiful, look at that. It drives perfectly. <laughs> if it can get back in, it's all good. Okay, that runs out of electric charge almost instantly. This might not be uh, an ideal design. <laughs> yeah, look at that. Just dies instantly. <laughs> We're going to need some more power. But I like the uh, rover concept. Um. <laughs> wow, yeah. Driving back in involves redundancy. <laughs> Who likes that exactly? No redundancy. That's a waste of money. Um, actually... 
Let's uh, let that charge while I get rig bar out. Oh, you get out the back first. Nice. Cool. Then you could potentially run around, but not today. You're just testing doors. You're a door test man. That's why you joined the space agency to test doors. That was his dream. Oh, I wish I could control forward. I mean, that's that's a massive oversight on the design of this crew capsule <laughs> that is made for forward flight, <laughs> uh, forward driving. Uh, come on, come on, boy. Let's get in. I can make the wheels a little. Come on. Here we go. Here we go. Oh god. Okay, so it's got some work. We need to, we need to do some work on this. <laughs> uh, literally a box with wheels. Exactly. Hey, George G. Thank you. Uh, yeah, I know it's a little basic, but we're building this. I can build a basic secondary rover. I want to keep parts down a little bit. All right, we need some more power and batteries. Uh, power generation and batteries. So let's put on a couple of really big, uh, really big old Batmans. Batmen. Uh, sh chuck them in there because we don't want to see them. Uh, much like you know, servants. In this stream, tape is randomly elitist. Um. <laughs> okay, one more RTG might not do it. Um. So let's have a secret RTG inside. Haha! -ha. And it'll still definitely not have enough power, but it'll be a little better. There we go. Secret power. Nice. You can change the control mode now... It's a lander and the axis is on top. Okay. Cool. Collaborative warfare. Well, firstly, you spelt it wrong. It's spelt with a K. Secondly, is that a request or just a, you know, just just a general musing? Because uh, we did some collaborative robot wars last week, if you're uh, really interested in seeing some collaborative fighting. Um, on, not on my stream, it was on Penguin's stream. Um, ooh, come on. Okay, 900 power. Unlimited power. And it, yeah, it gets out a little better. Nice. Let's see if we can change that control point. Um, forward. Wow, they did think of it. It's almost like they're professional game developers. Wow, it looks so cool inside. Look at that. Wish I could see all the way behind me. Is there a way to... No. Damn. Ooh, well, ooh gone. <laughs> yeah, look at that. That's a pretty nippy little rover. I like it. It's a good little scout rover. Very speedy, you know. A little bit of a uh, little bit of fun. Oh! Okay. What happened to the camera? <laughs> okay. I need just need to see if I can get it out and back in. Oh wow! Shit, man. Uh, thanks, George G, for the super chat of four dollars ninety nine. Collaborative warfare two. Electric boogaloo. Get beardy and twitchy in here. <laughs> um. We'll be, we do streams together occasionally. Um, I think I'm just going to keep this me today. Um, <laughs> thanks for the super chat, though. That's nice of you. Um, but, I, you know, I have a goal today, and usually when you have a goal, you don't want guests. Um, when you want to just fuck around, you get guests. I fucked that up. <laughs> oh. Um, but anyway, Georgie, yeah, if you go and see Penguin's last live stream, or maybe the one before that. I think his last live stream, it was... Uh, Collaborative Robot Wars, and we're going to be doing more collaborative stuff in other games and just generally having fun. Um, for sure you need a hinge on top so that it can flip itself back up. Possibly. I think you're right about that. The explosion is good. That's a good sign. Uh, control point forward. There we go. Nice. Okay, let's see if I can back this up in into the uh, cargo bay. If it's possible at all, that'd be nice. Yeah, look at that. Ish. There we go. <laughs> Ooh, no, that's not great. Uh, a little bit much. Come on. You got this. You got this little rover. I think I've broken the wheels. Come on. There we go. Beautiful. And then we'd just break and a robot arm would come down. I like that. Let's work on that robot arm. 
Then we're going to work on the jump engines. Any plans after Kerbal Rising? You mean for Kerbal Rising? Uh, there's not... <laughs> Kerbal Rising ended like two years ago when it turned out to be impossible. And, uh... Not that I'm going to keep going over this point, because I said I've said it quite a bit, but, um... There's not, like... I don't have any plans for, like, any really big KSP series. Um, sad as that may make everyone. Uh, on account of how amazing I am. Um... <laughs> Come on, why can't you attach to the top? That's some shit. Um, anyway, yeah, I don't really have plans for big series. I'm just, you know, doing some streaming, probably do some little videos, you know. Do some. St I'm really enjoying doing collaborative streams with Penguin and Agonarch and Twitchy. That's a lot of fun. So, you know, I'm, uh, we're, we're just taking it easy right now. We're taking it slow, you know. We're not doing any giant undertakings because giant undertakings are uh, difficult and take a lot of time to undertake. There we go. Um, Alright. Let's put this up there. Noise. And then let's put a little grabber on it. And that's in front, right? Yeah. Okay, cool. So let's try doing a bit of grabbing. Um, can't attach to the top as the top opens. You are right there. Um, not even going <sighs> to... Gerandal the first gear and Al <laughs> Stratos 2 I haven't seen any of your streams so far what happened to you and what made you return I'm not up to date on it uh, so I'm not going to constantly cover this because it'll get tedious for the people who have seen it and if you want a detailed description Penguin's first live stream with me back is a good place to check it um, or my first live stream back I do also cover it but basically um, I got overwhelmed with work I uh, I got overwhelmed when I start with... Well, uh, overwhelmed's not really the right... So, uh, when I started working, I just didn't really have any time for this. Um, and I also didn't really have anything I really wanted to do. So, there was just no real incentive for me to do it. Because I just didn't have any, any things that I wanted to really do anymore. And, or any time to do anything new, so I just kind of, yeah, just kind of sort of slipped out of it, and, uh, yeah, just kind of just kind of happened, I suppose. Uh, but yeah, if you want a really detailed description, the other two streams are better for that. Alright, let's see if this grab a, grabby hand works. I think it might be a little too close. Come on, car. Can you just, can you just... Yeah, okay. Uh, sorry, that was a terrible explanation, but like I said, I don't want to keep constantly covering it. Um, but a fair question. Alright, cool. Oh yeah, I need to switch. And then arm. And then just move this down a hair. There we go. Yeah, look at that, that works. And can we drive around with it? Oh, yeah, I need to disable those wheels when I'm going, I guess, but, uh, Mostly, yeah. Look at that. Got a little car in there. And if I were to... I could probably auto strut this as well, right? Isn't that how it works? Yeah. And that won't move too much. Nice. And I would just... Um, disable these. And yeah, that'll work fine. Cool. Liking it. Liking it a lot. Um, ooh, that's a nice view from the front. Look at that. Ah, beautiful. Cool. Let's put some jumpy engines on it, I suppose. Thanks, Stratus2. Thanks for uh, understanding me not uh, explaining it. That was a terrible explanation, but still. Anyway, alright. Um, so it weighs... We might not do jumpy at 130 tons, and we obviously want to put a bunch of fuel in it, so like 162 tons. Right. So how much thrust do we need for that? Let's get a mech jab thing so I don't have to think about it. Um, right, so we want at least one thrust to weight ratio on. So how much would a vector do? I'm guessing that's too much. Don't include cosine losses. No, a vector engine actually isn't enough. I guess, yeah, 100, yeah, fair enough. <laughs> but we don't, we kind of want, so two would be more than enough. And how much thrust does this produce? A thousand kilonewtons. How much thrust does this produce? 120, so we can't use that. 
Um, hmm. I kind of want it to be on the outside so it has more stability, uh, but that might not be feasible with engine thrusts. I'm going to put on some reaction wheels so that this is possible at all. Um, and yeah, <clears throat> hey tape, have you been able to check out ACTS? Airships conquer the skies. No, I haven't. Is that the game I was being told about at some point? Um, I've, I've slightly forgotten about it. Um, <laughs> or is that the airships mod for Kespi? It could be either. Those are the two airship based things in my mind. Does this have an alternate texture? I attach this anywhere there for now. It does. This might be the right engine then, because I could have hmm, a few of these. And that'll work quite well. To get our center of thrust, we want it right through our center of mass, obviously. Uh, and let's get some of these attachy points. And why is it slightly backwards? Oh, because of the Let's put these thrust limiters down to zero. That's not quite enough thrust, which is what I want, because I want four engines for lifting. And that's slightly too far forward. So I want to move these slightly further back. Sort of like uh, there. That's almost correct. Some of these windows are going to be obscured, but that's just the price of being able to jump. And it would only be looking at the ground anyway, so... Okay, cool. Obviously those need to be tucked in a little bit. <laughs> um, yeah, that's a thing, actually. Maybe I can tuck them in quite a lot. And still make them look semi-okay. Yeah. Okay, let's try those out. Um, made my day to see tape back, it's great, would be nice to hop on a dedicated Discord. Oh yeah, we have a Discord, that one Jimmy posted, that's the dedicated Discord. Um, uh, it's semi in use, I suppose. Um, people use it. I use it to announce streams, mostly. Um, Alright, let's see if we can jump. No, it does not like that. <laughs> Yeah, you cannot put engines inside of things, apparently. Okay. Oh, no, I know what it is. It's because uh, they're firing into the um, connectors. Balance the center of thrust with the drained fuel and add fuel to keep it balanced. You know, I think I'm just going to kind of more freewheel it. <laughs> I'm not really a do-it-right kind of person. No, maybe I'll, I will check on that, though. I'll try and make it reasonably balanced, because obviously it's useless uh, if it flips over. Um... We'll look into it. Can we just... please? Thank you. Nice. And do the same here. Come on. C come on. Come on. Nice. Let's try that out. <sighs> okay. How long have I been streaming for? Wow, I've been streaming for an hour and we're not even flying yet. This is going to take a while. Um, <laughs> I'm going to better get done soon <laughs> so we can fly this. Um, Alright. Their thrust limit is on zero. Yeah, both. Cool. Let's just go for it. Oh wow, those flamed out because they don't have any fuel. Let's uh, give them some fuel. <laughs> uh, hey, Nicola Bellato. That's nice of you to say. Um, Nicholas Bellato. Bellato? Bolato. There we go. There's three pronunciations. Pick one. Um, <laughs> all right. You know what game I've been wanting to play? Uh, maybe on the channel, maybe just by myself, is Deadly Premonition. I've loved that the look of that game for ages. And I know it's like a proper trash game, but also kind of amazing. And I kind of like RPGs. And I know it's sort of not really, but kind of a bit of an RPG. I might play that. Deadly Premonition is such a fun, sort of, I guess, bit of a meme game, but uh, I like it. Alright. Let's fire up those engines slowly this time. 
Look at that, it flies. It does everything, it boats. Uh oh. Yeah, that thing you were saying about fuel burn, Jimmy, that might be what's going on here. It's hard to say, but uh, could be. Could be. <laughs> How much do I need to pay you for a six hour stream? Uh, oof, six hours of my time at a software engineer's rate. Not that much. <laughs> uh, no, I'm not doing a six hour stream. Maybe one day, you know. Maybe for like a charity thing. A uh, charity where I get all the money. Um, it'd be a kind of a shell company, if you know what I, if you know what I mean. <laughs> right. Yeah, I see what the problem is here. Yeah, that is a big problem. Right. We might want to put some more fuel in the front. Yeah, okay. Let's do what Jimmy said. Uh, <laughs> wise old Jimmy. And, uh, put, yeah, balance it around an empty craft. And then put the fuel in slowly. Oh, there's fuel in the, here too. Shit. Ugh, I'm a goddamn idiot. Actually, hmm, surprisingly balanced. So if I fill this up now, Maybe I just need to be burning this fuel as well. Maybe that was the problem. I wasn't burning that fuel. Because that's kind of central. So, actually, yeah, it's not bad. See, uh, this is my genius. I don't know how to do things. But, I am kind of an idiot savant. So, uh, <laughs> um, yeah. I don't plan things. They just happen. Uh, I'll also need to feed fuel back into here so we burn the fuel evenly nice too floppy you're too floppy <laughs> 60 Canadian dollars <laughs> for a six hour live stream uh, so five US dollars yeah Canadian rupees there uh, uh, yeah what is the actual conversion rate Linus Tech Tips always jokes about it but I don't really know the real rate um, I think you might be right that it's too floppy. I like how every time someone suggests something, I'm like, nah. And then I'm like, oh, yeah, no, you're totally right. Um, yeah, no, you're right, Jimmy. It is a very good way to plan this. Ooh, a bit much. A bit much. Hmm. I mean, I just need to do small jumps occasionally, but it needs not jump backwards, obviously. See, this is where vector engines would be great. If I just wanted to sponge it. Yeah, I guess the fuel is burning too far forwards now. Because that's the other thing, is you don't want the fuel burn to be... Mm. Alright, let's just check the things again. Uh, it is slightly far forward now. I think because it's so heavy, I guess. Right, and then this, I bet, so... Yeah, so that's pretty much bang on. And now it's just slightly too far forward. So we want a little more fuel in the back. Sorry, a little more fuel in the front. Because the thrust is too far forward. Okay, we can, we can do that. We can just throw on some fuel tanks here somewhere. Um, maybe if we put on... So 2.5 meter fuel tanks there, that might do it. Um, although it'll obviously throw everything off. Uh, ah, too much, too much, way too much. Maybe if we had some kind of radial fuel tanks. Yeah, way too small. Um, Because I can just chuck them in somewhere. I mean, we just need a small amount of fuel, really, just to balance it. There we go. Maybe that's... We go half that. Yeah, that's sort of bang on, actually. Um, I'm just wondering how exact this needs to be. Because I do like the idea of it being able to do perform small jumps. Um, however stupid that is. <laughs> uh, we'll obviously make that prettier at some point, but let's try this. Are you late? What did you miss? Um... You're a little late, but uh, just me building this 
a disabled gimbal in the front engines. Eh, use vectors and limit thrust. Eh, too much mass. Actually, maybe it's not. Anyway, uh, what did you miss? Building this glorious rover, which I'll give you a quick rundown for anyone who hasn't been here. It's got lots of cool stuff on it. So it's got engines for jumping that we're testing out now. It's got crew quarters, science labs. Um, in the back, it's got a cool garage with a rover in it. And then behind that, it's got a drilling unit. So it's got a few things going on for it. And it's also got jets because it's also going to be a boat. Maybe. Boat optional. But probably a boat. That's the goal. And also, a flying machine. Ooh, that's nice. Look at that, that's pretty balanced. Let's see if we can burn all the fuel out of it. Um, no. No, 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 we can't. Because the center of dry mass has now moved forward. Oh, what a hassle. What a hassle. Mm, vernier thrusters. <laughs> Vernier thrusters. I like the idea of vernier thrusters. I think that might be the way to go. We just need a few on the top. Let's just cheese this, because I don't want to do this too much longer. Because it's, it's not a massively essential feature. Um, it's a cool feature, but I have aesthetic things to do, which are much more important. Small aesthetic things. Are we going off planet here? Oh yeah, we're going off planet. We're going to uh, lathe. Uh, so, you know, get ready for that. I don't know if I'm going to be able to fly this to lathe. Maybe I'll hack it there, but I'm going to try and fly it. Because, you know, I do love lathe. And I do love flying. Oh, RCS, come on. Taking off. Yeah! See? The vernier thrusters. I like that. It's good. It's a good way of cheesing this. It might not be enough in the end, but this can perform a pretty significant hop. And I bet it could still... Oh no. So what I'm seeing here is we need more vernier thrusters. So we can go to about half fuel, and it still works. And then we can just kind of do something. And we don't need quite as much thrust on lathe because of the lower gravity, so I'm pretty happy for it to basically work. I mean, it's pretty good. I might put a couple more thrusters on it just to make it always work. But uh, no hyper edit. No hyper edit. Just like, yeah. No, I, I, you, I don't like it when you do things uh, unlegitly. And we need less thrusters at empties. Um, so, yeah, this could work. It's gonna land pretty hard backwards. Could throttle up these jet engines. Ooh, a little heavy. Okay, we, we got this. Ooh, no. Anyway. I'm happy with that. It works enough. <laughs> it works enough. That's all I'm going for. Alright. Cool. Let's just stage these separately for now. And let's just tuck these inside there. Because they are probably needed, maybe. How many parts is this? 154. 177 tons. I like it. Okay, so we've got the core components down. <coughs> so now what we need is some ladders to get onto the surface. Because lathe has too high gravity for RCS packs, so we need some working ladders. Uh, you know, to get us going places. That looks like enough. And I guess we can just transfer crew. We don't need to get them out of the top. Uh, and I'm going to make sure all the crew stuff works. Um, the walkways. Uh, the ladders. Uh, yeah. So I'm going to throw in a few more crew. Hire some more. Oh, God damn. Hire some more crew. And we'll be good. SRBs and more SRBs is the best thing for hopping things. SRBs. Um, not if you want to control the fuel burn. Like if you want to be able to turn off the engine. Say when you're done with the hop. 
Um, they can be useful for hopping some things, but not in this case, where we want a self-sustaining, reusable kind of hopping device. Um, can't they just go off to the garage? You are right about that, but I like the idea of ladders as well. Um, yeah. So let's put in a bunch of kerbals into all the different places. And just make sure everything works. Eh. Oh. Ah, the nice thing about my mouse is it has a free scroll option. It has this button, so I can scroll normal like this. Or I can press this button, and the scroll wheel just goes free as, you know, it just goes free. It's nice, I like it. Um, yeah. Um, and they can't go off the garage because they'll walk into the ISOU thing. Unless uh, you get put them into the car and walk them out. But eh, what's the, you know, whatever. Why not make a giant helicopter? Make it, make it a giant helicopter. Because I could barely handle rockets, Vane Dimmacullingen. <laughs> I can barely handle rockets. How do you think I can handle helicopters? <laughs> Alright, can we get out? Yes, we can. And do the ladders. Uh, can we get back in? Yes, we can. Nice. Alright, let's test out these ladders. Uh, is it F to grab the ladder? Is it F to pay respects? Oh, yeah. Nice. Excellent ladder work, bro. And climbing down it all skew F. Wunderbar. Right. Um, and can we get out of the back sections? Yes, we can! And we can walk all up and down this beautiful little uh, roving base of ours. It needs lights. Call me Bob. Okay, Vane Dimaglugan, I will call you Bob. hey -ya! And... Falchion Punch! No. <laughs> oh. The interior of the crew complex got remodeled. Oh. Did it. I didn't really check. Oh yeah, it's cool. I like it. Anyway. Rit. Rit, rit, rit. What was I... What do we need next? Lights? Yeah. I think I said lights. It's a little ugly, but I love this. I like it. It's a nice, cool, big rover. We need to land it as well. Um, so I've got to test landing it on Kerbin, and then I'll know it can land on Lathe. Um, ooh, all the textures are broken. Nice. <laughs> uh, yeah, let's go lights. Um, so we need some floodlights. For this... So that we can see at night. So we'll put some in the streets. We've got some nice little street lights for our tiny little streets. Ah, oh, just so cute. <laughs> uh, well, I guess we'll put these on this side. Maybe we should have cool colors. Um, and then we're going to put some on the front for looking up ahead. We're going to put wide beams or right in front of us, like so. Uh, these need some tweaking. Uh, yeah, gonna have a nice wide beam. And then in here, we're gonna have some nice long beams. Like so. Uh, we're gonna have them, come on, like that. Yeah, that's halfway shit. <laughs> Good enough. There we go. And we're going to have some just... Oh, we also need to light up the cargo bay, obviously. Um, we're going to have a nice illuminator up here. Lighting up the back. And, of course, some nice wide, oop, wide lights for the inside of here. Cool, let's warp to night and see how this looks. That's how you get on ladders, John Goodry, like that Kerbal? Yeah, that is the superior way to get on ladders, I think you'll find. Um, free scroll is amazing. I agree with you, John Goodry. It is, I, I didn't think it would be that good, and then I got this mouse and I was like, whoa, it's the best. Penis rover? If this is a penis rover, I suggest that you go and see a doctor. <laughs> 
All right, cool. Let's uh, warp to night and see how all the lights work. Ah, there we go. It's obviously not that dark here with all these lights, but so that lights up the way in front quite nicely. Actually, I really like that. Um, in here is quite well lit up. The streets are lit up and safe. This one is pointing down a bit, but uh, other than that, I like it. Um, cool. Let's revert to launch, and then uh, yeah, do some more lighting, and then uh, we'll uh, build a rocket for it and uh, send it on to lathe. Oh, landing it. Yeah, I need to test landing it. <laughs> right, I did say I'd do that. Um, so, landing it. We have landing engines. That's why I put them on there, not just for jumping, for landing. <laughs> I'm not an idiot. I'm just, I'm an idiot. I totally forgot that those could be used for landing. I wasn't thinking that far ahead. Because, you know, I don't think far ahead, because I'm uh, too busy being amazing. Uh, so we're going to have a nice core of parachutes to get it sort of softly landing. Obviously, we're also going to want some drogue chutes to on the outside for both... Nah, I'm going to keep them all here. It'll make it easier to balance uh, for supersonic deceleration. And also for general landing stuff. Trust me, it's science. Um, <laughs> yeah, it's always good to have some extra shoots. All right, cool. So let's put this in the VAB. Throw on some rockets for now, get it into the air, and see if we can land it at all. Yeah. Um, holy shit, we made it in time, boys. Hey, Hank Blob, how you doing? Um, you did indeed make it in time. Still in the build phase. It's going to be a long-ass stream. <laughs> I'll take a break in a minute, actually. Mm. But first, we need to test that it lands. Uh, and then it'll be ready to strap it to a giant rocket and just sort of send it off. Probably cheat it re-entry, but I am going to land it on lathe because obviously I'm about to work on that now, so... Okay, that's looking aerodynamic, I think, is the word most people would pick when they saw this. Let's close the cargo bay. Uh, yeah, beautifully aerodynamic, actually, would be... Where the fuck are the parachutes? Did I not save that? Oh, no, this is the quick save. Right. <laughs> Thank Christ. <laughs> oh, Christ. Oh, my God. <laughs> Almost had a heart attack that I would have to put a few parachutes back on it. I am extremely lazy. Um... Eh. Go up. <laughs> there we go. Alright. Looking good. Looking a good. Alright, let's put some big old SRBs on it. <clears throat> Fly it. Actually, SRBs probably aren't the best idea for getting this to go straight. Let's put some big old rockets with high gimbling engines on it. And then, uh, <laughs> yeah. Um, so we're going to get the big decouplers, like so. Not interacting with anything. Good. We're going to get a couple of pylons to keep the boosters away. Uh, and then we're going to get some big old. Big old. Uh, for now, we're just going to go 3.5 meter, but for the actual launch stage, we will most likely go for um, 5 meter instead of 3.5 meter. 3.75 meter, sorry. Uh, for now, it's just going to be a bit of a hodgepodge. Just for some landing, just for some flight tests. Um, I know this is not a great way to do rockets, but <laughs> the way I'm putting these rocket engines on. There we go, 1.2. Nice. Um, gonna need some struts. <laughs> Otherwise, this is going to fucking break. I really wish they'd add some bigger decouplers. You know, I think we could benefit from some, some big, chunky decouplers. Um, the parachutes are only on one side. Yeah, because it's going to land on the fucking wheels, bro. Read a, read a parachute book, man. Alright, there we go. And let's uh, give it some of these. Uh-oh. There we go. Oh no, all the engines are in the same stage. <laughs> and I did them in the worst way possible. <laughs> no. Um, 
Uh, Balok, the shoots are one-sided. Yep, they are. Because it lands on its wheels. That's how we're doing it. You dare question me? Um, <laughs> yeah, fuck symmetry. <laughs> Look harder at the parachutes. Oh, I see what you're saying. Rare. They're only on one side of the... Yeah, I'm an idiot. I thought you were an idiot, but I'm the idiot. I'm the fool. <laughs> Guys, don't tell him. No, fuck. <laughs> oh, I was so confident. Like, bro, obviously it's landing on its wheels. But, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm the fucking idiot here. All right, let's go fix that. <laughs> it's fine. It's what I intended. I wanted to do that. Do what I want. <laughs> Let him figure it out. If I don't figure it out myself, how am I going to learn? Oh, oh. Eating my pride. Eating it hard. There we go. Now we're doing it correctly. <laughs> oh, that would have been funny, though, if you hadn't told me. Um, and, uh... I just landed and I was like, why is it only landing on one side? <laughs> oh, man. All right, cool. We're ready for the parachute tests. We're going to land it on the land, hopefully. Probably. We're going to give it a shot. This could probably almost make orbit, actually. See, it'll be easy to get to land. There we go. Oh, that's some good frame rates. Is it? Actually, oh, no, it is good frame rates. It's just a really slow takeoff. Come on, let's uh, just kind of head over this way. Uh, you know what? Let's just go up. Let's not try and turn too much. That doesn't seem like a great idea. <laughs> Alright, let's turn a little bit, though. Gotta get it going. Oh, separators are not in the right place. Currently, those engines have three... Oh, three minutes per second of delta V. <laughs> Is this gonna... Good, it's not burning that fuel. I was a little worried. Little does Tape know, as soon as he lands on lathes, some heavily armed pe penguins will be wanting, <laughs> will be uh, waiting for him, and thus Kerbal Rising 2 begins. <gasps> Could you imagine if I planned it that well, where I'd like, <laughs> communicated with Penguin, and started Kerbal Rising 2 in a live stream, and everyone was like, what? That'd be mental. Alright, cool. I think that's probably high enough for this test. So we're gonna throttle down. Decouple the engines. Oh god, please don't hit me! Uh, there we go, we're fine. And, uh, yeah. Just let it fall and then pull the chutes. Should have gave Kerbal a co-pilot so he doesn't face death alone. That is true. I thought I had co-pilot? No. No, well, we don't want to kill all our pilots in testing. God, man. Um, he wants to die alone. There we go. Look at that, beautiful. Let's fire up those engines to be ready. When these pull, it's going to destroy the whole craft, isn't it? <laughs> if I can land this on Kerbin, I can land it on Lathe, and then we can build ourselves a big old rocket to take it to Lathe, and probably only cheat on re-entry. Okay, there go the drogues. That should level it out nicely. No explosions. And because it's a lifting body, it'll fly a bit, so... And we'll just wait for the main chutes to deploy. Main chute deploy! Very stable. <laughs> Strong and stable. Oh no. Let's use those vernier thrusters to get it in line. And oh, it's going to land pretty soft. Obviously when I include the engine thrust. If I can ever get it to that point. Ooh, ee, ee. Ooh, ee, ooh, ah, ah. Well, I want a bing bang. <laughs> Don't know why it reminded me of that. Oh, I love just nonsense songs. Um, place your bets, people. I bet you a million pounds I nail this first time. No explosions, distant explosion noises. You know, d ignore those explosions. Those are fake explosions. Wow, I'm glad I bet a million pounds. I fucking nailed that. <laughs> How good was that? Nice. I like it. I like it a lot. We did good. We did good today. We did good today. Alright, cool. So, I 
am going to take a little break after I've done my very professional Be Right Back. I'm going to make it slightly more professional today <laughs> to make it slightly less shit. Um, so people know I am actually playing KSB. Uh, so yeah, um, I'm going to take a very, very quick break. And then we'll be back to send this to Lathe. It's going to be great. It's going to be the best. Um, Alright, let's just put in literally... Uh, be right back. Okay, that's looking good. I'm, I'm not actually just going to leave the... Uh, <laughs> the GIMP window up today. I'm going to cut it down to an image. Um, it's not going to be very professional, but it'll be a tiny bit better than it usually is. I might even use some OBS features for it. <laughs> uh, we're going to call this burb.jpg. Maybe spreading the shoots out will increase the stability. It will, but then I'll have to figure out where the center of mass is, and I'm kind of feeling lazy. So we're just going to go with janktastic and quick saves. <laughs> Alright, can I add a image source to this? I can. Uh, this. I'm figuring out how to uh, how to OBS. Um, there we go. Oh, look at that. That's right in the stream. <laughs> look how professional. There we go. Perfect. Okay, I will leave you with that. Um, and I will be right back, as it says. So I'll see you in a second.
Okay, I'm back. I'm going to turn the uh, KSP volume back down because it might be really overpowering. I don't know. There we go. Tell me if it's too high. <clears throat> and let's just hide the burb. Cool. Um, <sighs> you know what? I might do one thing and test if this can re-enter. Nah, you know what? I'll just cheat. I'll just turn max temperature. <laughs> max temperatures off. Yeah. Um... Hopefully KSP2 will have dynamic weather. That'd be cool. Alright, let's figure out how to get this thing to lathe. Um, how much delta V do you need to get to lathe? Let's fire up ksp.olex.biz because that's still a useful tool. Um, actually, no, let's just get a delta V map. Yeah, there we go. So, obviously I need about 3500 to get into orbit, but to get to lathe... So, to get to Joule, um, from Joule orbit 930, let's just say about 2000 to get to Joule. And then, let's try and give myself, yeah, sort of, oof. Probably about 2000 to get into orbit of lathe. So, yeah, and then, so we need 4000, then we need to lift that. Let's see what we can do. <clears throat> hey, um, mobusters. Uh, yeah. Okay, cool. So, getting to Joule and Lathe. Let's see about doing... Let's get rid of these. Um, I should probably set up some action groups, but I'm probably not going to out of laziness. So if I get rid of the vectors and instead add um, these... Where are they? Here. It'll be, oop, get two. That's 4,000 meters per second delta V. That could be, that could be good. Yeah, that'll do most of it. And this thrust away ratio is pretty good. How much does this weigh? 700 tons. Okay, not too bad. <laughs> um, and then let's put a decoupler on here. Uh, 3.5 meter decoupler. And then a fairing to cover up that bit there. Payload. There we go. Oh, are these the five meter tanks? Oh, they are five meter tanks. Let's go with three seven five meter tanks, um, just for uh, sort of. Uh, so those are two meter tanks, just for sleekness reasons. Is <laughs> the not really the word I was going for, but close enough. Um, yeah, so let's do that, and then that, and let's whack some nose cones on here, like so, and then throw those on there. Oh, the staging. Oh, the pains. Oh, the pains of staging. Come on. Come on. Come on, staging. It just has no idea what staging is. 25, uh, that's not a lot. Hmm. Maybe if we... <laughs> no, this kind of symmetry. Maybe if we have four of them. Oh, the pains of staging. No, that's actually right. And then after that we do this. 3600 meters per second of delta V. How is that not... <laughs> oh, and it's also clipping the wheels. Okay. <laughs> Let's not do that. <laughs> Let's just have two. And maybe the 5 meter fuel tanks again. Yes. Let's stick to 5 meter fuel tanks. I think that'll be much simpler. <laughs> oh, this is going to be janktastic. Um, are you going to return to fighter jet showdown? I have no current plans to do so. Maybe one day. I don't really know. Um, I'm not really looking to do, as I've said multiple times, um, but not everyone will have heard it yet. Uh, I'm not planning on doing massive... Um, sort of five meter bearings, nice. I'm not really planning on doing massive series again yet. Um, I just think that's, it's, it's a great deal of work and I'm just looking to kind of casually have some fun, you know? Um, why is this still fucked up? This had way more Delta V just now. It's only showing one stage. Is it including Delta? Oh, it's including cosine losses. This was way more just now. <laughs> What happened? 
<laughs> um, fire those engines, then decouple them, then do all of that, then fire those, then fire those. Um, yeah, that should be fine. Hmm. Well, anyway, for now it's fine. <laughs> Um, let's put on the struts again, and I'm going to put this on the launch pad and see, often I find Mech Jeb is slightly wrong when it's in the VAB, when it's like slightly complicated, so let's do this and just check the validity of that. Um, when in doubt, use asparagus, that is true. Use engine plates under coupling. Oh, okay. Is that... Okay. I will try that out. Um, I have just been using fairings up until now. I assume engine plates do the same kind of thing. Right? Yeah? We'll see. <laughs> <coughs> okay. Yeah, 3,500 meters per second. Why did it go down? It doesn't matter. 3,500 meters per second is a bunch. We'll just build more rocket underneath it. Um, <laughs> oh, God. Uh, no, I was looking at the vac. I thought it was more before. Maybe not. So there's engine plates. Inflatable airlock. That's cool. Um, so there's... Oh... Ah. Interesting. So you stick these on there and do that, and then put the decoupler there, maybe? Oh! Radical! <laughs> oh, we're learning. Cool. Thanks for the tip. That is very useful. Um, Alright, and let's go for the 5 minute decoupler. Oh, look at that. Look at, look at me learning. Look at, look at tape learning things. <laughs> Oh, this is gonna be so. Hard. This is gonna be so hard to get into orbit. It's gonna be such a mess. Um, but we'll do it. We'll figure this out. <laughs> Christ. Um, so I'd like this to have more delta V. So maybe I will do a bit of asparagusing with some 2.5 meter engines. Yeah, just some little baby 2.5 meter engines. Uh, 2.5 meter tanks. God, I remember when they were like the biggest fucking parts, and then we were like 3.5 meter, and it was like, whoa! And then it was like, even better, fucking 5 meter, and it was like, whoa, even cooler. Um, too big? Nah, it's this one I want. Cool. And we'll do some cross feed. And we're gonna decouple the. Oh, God, the staging. Extra 260 <laughs> meters per second, guys. Nice. Uh, well, we'll just double it up. Um, we'll double it the fuck up. And that'll give us a little bit of... That'll give us four kilometers per second. If we can get four kilometers, that'll be nice in the upper stage. And then we'll figure it out from there. Um, that's almost four kilometers. That'll do. That'll do, pig. That'll do. Okay. <laughs> oh, this is going to be a, a janky launch vehicle, but it's going to be great. Don't need, an, need a decoupler with engine plates. Mm. Oh, is that true? Okay. Oh, yes, quite. Nice. Excellent. Uh, come on. Come on now. Come on now. Right. Takes our TWR down a bit, but it should be fine. Um, right. Now we need the big old... Don't need decouplers, Peter. That's just what you had learned. <laughs> right. So. Now we need a really fucking big first stage. Um, but we can use the F1 engines for that, which will be which will be cool. I've never needed to use them before. I've just used them for giggles, but uh, it'll be very cool to use them for realsies. Um, Ke wants. Okay, let's make him like that. 
you know what, just to group them up properly, I'm going to go one and then just get the symmetry. Oh shit. <laughs> Thusly. There we go. That's looking good. Do we want this one maybe? That might look better. No, it won't. Okay. Maybe on the center one. Yeah, I like the look of that. Oh, could you just put the engines in the right place staging? It is confusing, obviously, but come on now. 1700 meters per sec. Oh, we're going to need a lot more than that to get into orbit. <laughs> so, the plan is strap more on the side. It also doesn't have enough thrust to weight ratio. But that's fine. Because we're going to put more on the side. <laughs> Let's just grab one of these before I put the decouplers on. Um. Yeah, let's attach them up here. Now we're going to explode some rockets. Okay, these two couplers aren't big enough. What I'm going to do is get one of these and uh, one of these. Come on, line up properly. There we go. And throw that on there. Uh, <laughs> oh no. <laughs> and we're going to cross feed it. Uh, so those all fire up at the right time then these side boosters split off and that gives us 2700 meters per second delta V <laughs> still not really enough um, we're gonna we're gonna try and SRB this but uh, as uh, uh, stack separate uh, separatron this but I have a feeling it's going to be somewhat ineffectual um, oh, no, don't want to copy that, I want to copy the stack separate, the, uh, fucking Sepatron. You know what, we do the best we can. <laughs> Which isn't very good, but hey, it's, uh, you know, it's fine. Okay. I'm gonna double this up, and then maybe put some SRBs on it as well, and some struts. <laughs> Oh god. This is gonna be strange. <laughs> and explodey, probably. Look, as long as the struts roughly work. I'm not going for beauty here. <laughs> oh boy! Now we're cooking with kerosene, you're goddamn right. Uh, so that's 27, uh, 20, more like 2800 meters per second of delta V. So I'm sure if I double this up, it'll be enough to get into orbit. And I'm gonna want a little more because I'm gonna use this is a kick stage. Um, uh, are the engines in the right place? Please tell me there's... So those decouplers are at the... Come on. Where are the decouplers? Where are these decouplers? Oh yeah, they're on the right place. Okay, that doesn't give us that much more delta V. Is the are the fuel lines? Yeah, the fuel lines are still there. <laughs> Why is that so? Oh, 3,400 meters per second. Yeah, actually that there. Well, more like 3,500 meters per second. Almost enough to get into orbit. So now <laughs> we're going to put some solid rocket boosters on it, and uh, it's going to be beautiful. Um, it's not going to be shit at all. I should probably <laughs> have these at the same kind of roughly this. It should probably be about right. Yeah, they're near enough. <laughs> I can't wait to see this launch. I will be amazed if this works. Luckily, now we have some a real big solid rocket boosters. Are those the biggest ones? So those were the biggest ones. Those, those are the biggest ones. Oh yeah. Now we're cooking. <laughs> and because it currently has one thrust to weight ratio at sea level. So uh, <laughs> we're going to need some more thrust. I'm giving her all she's got, Captain. It's an excellent impression. <laughs> oh, this is going to be bad. It's going to be real bad. Oh, it's going to be real bad. I'm interested to see if the staging works at all. Yeah, one strut is fine. Um, I don't think we need uh, Sepatrons. <laughs> Famous last words. Uh, so these are those 
<laughs> okay. And these decouplers are those decouplers. So we want them to go first, I would imagine. Yeah. Right. <laughs> and we're obviously going to double them up. And that should be enough delta V. Ish. You know. That didn't give us much more to put that one on the side. I love how unlined up it is. I think I'm going to keep it like that. I think that's the way to go. Um, right, and then we're going to strut it some. Why, why won't you strut? Is that too long? Okay, fine. What if I do, do it properly? There we go. Okay. Odds on this working. I'm going to say 100%. I'm preparing for the shit 5 FPS I'm about to experience. I don't know. How many parts is it? It's only 348 parts. So it's not... It probably... It'll be bad on launch. It'll be real bad on launch. But I'm, I'm hopeful. Anyway, so we've got enough Delta V, I think. Where the... F Come on, man. Come on, man. Let's not fuck around here. So... 1,200, 600... Wow, that, these SRBs aren't giving us a lot of uh, Delta V, but they are giving us thrust to weight ratio-ish. Uh, <laughs> so we've got... Uh, what? 1,800, 2,900, 3,700. That should be enough to get into orbit, and then we'll just sort of go from there. Okay, I'm going to assume my staging is fine, and we're going to try this out. 110%. I like your uh, belief in me, cytophage pitches. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah. Almost no chance of this working. Thanks for the faith, Hank Blob. Andre Baterli, um, zero, K. <laughs> Cries in 1200 part replica plane. I know, that's where you get a lot of parts, Stratos, is where you do like real detailed replicas. If you believe hard enough, it will work. I agree. We need more Kerbals in this. Oh my god, I almost just left with, like, basically no Kerbals. <laughs> that would have been great if I got to lathe after all this and just had one Kerbal. Uh, okay, let's just put these guys in. That's enough dudes. Um, and they need cool spacesuits. Eh. Eh. I wish I could... Can you set this as default? I'm sure you can. By the time you've told me, I won't know anymore. I will have already done it manually. Um, I assume you can set it as default. But, you know... I want to use the cool new spacesuits. And then just one random dude in an old spacesuit. <laughs> Who's like, yeah, they, we didn't have enough real good spacesuits, so have this old shitty one. Um, there we go. Looking good. All right, let's go. All hail the Kraken. What version am I using, Antonio ba Batch? That's what I'm going to say. Uh, 1.10. Uh, the whole point of this is I want to go and see Lathe's new cool fucking textures, and that's part of 1.10. The ESA update, the newest one. Yes, indeed. It also has all ESA parts, but that's not what we're doing today. I think there's also comets in the game now, which I should check out at some point. Maybe next stream. Um, but for now, we're doing dumb shit. Which I'm starting to regret, but... Okay. We don't have an abort system, but I hardly think that will matter. Okay, no way this could possibly go wrong in 3, 2, 1. I'm surprised it's flying at all, but it is. Look at that. Surprisingly smooth frame rate. I'm going to open up the... Uh, close the Kerbal alarms. Oh, I didn't even get a fucking... I didn't wait till uh, the windows open, but I can do that later. Um, orbit info. Okay. <coughs> We're flying. We are flying. <laughs> Equip the Chad LED Chroma spacesuits. I did, except for that one guy. <laughs> I guess he has the Virgin spacesuit. <laughs> oh, yeah. It's picking up a bit of a vibration. But I'm feeling good. I'm feeling real good about this. 
buffed Kerbals are their own abort system. They are. I swear they made Kerbals stronger, because they, like, never die anymore. Until the whole thing explodes, obviously. But, like, when you drop them, they're just invincible. <laughs> so far. Thanks for the confidence, Vaughn. Okay, we're tipping over a little bit too much. But, uh, I think it's good. We're okay. Don't want to flip out, though, obviously. This has probably some strange aerodynamics. What is the beautiful monstrosity that I came back to? Well, Vane Dimaklugan, um, or Billy, or whatever you said I could call you, uh, this is the rocket that's taking this to Lathe. And by monstrosity, I hope you meant the most beautiful thing you've ever seen. Because it's the most beautiful thing I've ever seen. <laughs> oh, it's such trash. <laughs> it's just these strapped on for a bit of extra fuel. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I should have asparagus it more. Um, should have put some more of these pointing into there. And maybe I'll do that if I don't have enough Delta V. Or maybe I'll cheat. But I don't want to cheat. I want this to really work, you know? Okay. It is moving a bit. And I'm liking that. I think I am going slightly too flat. But, uh, you know, we can always try again. Solid Rocket Booster is about to peace out. See you later, SRBs. Please don't destroy my shit. Yes! They didn't destroy my shit! <laughs> oh, look at it. Look at it beautifully. Except when these decouple, this has, like, no thrust-to-weight ratio. So let's try and get that Apple Wapsis up. Question for the chat and streamer. How do you get PSP multiplayer? It's a mod called Lunar Multiplayer, um, and it is janky, but it just about works. Uh, yeah, so if you just look into Lunar Multiplayer, you can see that. Please don't forget to quick save. Ah, do not be quick save. Okay, the thrust weight issue isn't too bad in the upper atmosphere. Um, oh, that apoapsis is not very high, though. <laughs> Ooh, this is going to be rough, boys. It's going to be rough. I believe in you, Kerbals. Brave Kerbinauts. Doing God's work. Oh, look at it. It's beautiful! <laughs> okay, now all we can do is pray, because we're coming up on that apoapsis fast. Um, oof, they collided. It's a mod, KSP Multiplayer? Yeah, yeah, uh, it's a mod, uh, Antonio. It's... Um, called Lunar Multiplayer. KSP 2 will have built-in multiplayer, but KSP 1 doesn't. Um, you can use a mod though, and it works, kind of. God, it's beautiful. I should have taken a steeper ascent, which we might have to do. Um, but we'll see. We'll see how this goes. Everyone said it wouldn't work. Yeah. Yeah, I'm watching you. <laughs> Come on, please get that apoapsis up. I mean, it might not make it to orbit, but it worked better than most people thought it would. So, I don't want to say I'm a god among men, but the uh, prevailing evidence would uh, would suggest that I am indeed a, a, a deity among mortals. <laughs> 45 kilometers at the apoapsis? Might, this might work. Beautiful separation. Indeed, Vaughn, it was. reading the chat. There's something going on which I uh, <laughs> am not a... Uh, have missed. Um, earlier comment, believe harder tape. You must believe harder indeed. You've got to believe that it'll work. And look at it. It's, it's coming together. It's glorious. Glorious. I reckon it might even make orbit. Might even make it to Jewel. Although, Delta V will be tight. But we do have 1300 in the landing engine, so I think we can do this. And I'm not using re-entry hitting because I just couldn't be bothered to account for that. Um, so, could just slam it right into lane. <laughs> yeah, I might. I won't put on an unbreakable joint, so that's too far, but I'm not going to bother with heating. You have any batteries or solar panels? I have tons of batteries and solar panels and RTGs. I've thought this through. 
I will have forgotten something, though. Don't you worry. Okay, let's slide over a little more, because we're going to run out of Delta V if we don't. And we are about to get our apoapsis out of the atmosphere. Nice. It's looking good. Once we get it out of the atmosphere, we'll probably turn off the engines and then cruise up to Applewapsis. He has RTGs, he'll be fine. Indeed I do. Ah. Really? Uh, really surprised this worked first time. I'm uh, uh, amazed by my own genius. You know. This won't quite make it to orbit. I will have to use some of that third stage. Um, but I'm feeling good. 73, that'll do. It's a quick save. 200 meters, yeah, we're going to be slightly short, but we've got another stage, so we should be okay. Professionals have standards. <laughs> Thought you were thinking. Yes, I was thinking. How dare you. Okay. There we go. There we go. Beautiful. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. I love it. Now, the thing about the ore mining is I didn't bring any equipment to find ore, so we're just gonna have to check everywhere. <laughs> ah, yeah, okay. Let's fire up those next engines and cruise on into orbit. You said I was mad! <laughs> Well, I'm still mad, but, uh, you know, I'm in orbit. I'm mad in orbit. The only time my rockets work is when I'm throwing some horrible thing together to demo to someone <laughs> to someone new to the game. That's when it really counts. you gotta, you got to make yourself look like you know what you're talking about. I uh, wonder if this will have enough fuel to get to lathe. I reckon with the landing engines it will. Okay. Right, now we need to figure out how long we need to wait to go to Jewel. Um, transfer window from Kerbin to Jewel. 146 days. Okay, have fun in orbit, boys. Alright. <laughs> how does it turn in orbit? Oh, fucking no, man. We'll figure that out when we come to it. <laughs> it does have some vernier thrusters actually um, and some reaction wheels but slowly will is the answer to your question okay time to warp to the node it's gonna be wonderful it's gonna be beautiful it's gonna be uh, godly <laughs> I am indeed a madman Drachion 76 um, alright let's get warping <sighs> I'm feeling good. Feeling good about this. How could it possibly go wrong? <laughs> I like the craft in the side. Juna Aerial Screw, Eve Plane, The Purple House, Mustached Abomination Mark 1, and uh, Fuck You Eve Mark 1. Which was the most glorious craft ever seen. We might close out the stream flying the Fuck You Eve Mark 1. Because it... Oh. That, that's the propeller plane from last time. It is really something. Okay, that should be about right. Use the time while watching, while waiting to launch a, a satellite to scan for resources. Eh. 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 <laughs> I don't need to scan for resources. Just land it somewhere. It'll have resources. Eh. Are you going to try and use Tyler Gravity Assist? Do I seem like the kind of guy with a plan? <laughs> yeah, I, 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 I'm going to try and go to lathe, man. Maybe I'll use a Tyler Assist. Maybe I won't. We'll see when we get there. I'm not a, not a planner. Which makes me excellent at space. Calling tape gaming at 3am challenge gone ritualistic. What is going on? 
I wonder how long this burn's gonna take. It's gonna take a fucking while. You're thinking, ah, four minutes, not too bad. There we go. Ah, pissing moon encounters in the way. <laughs> Don't want to encounter with my moon. Piss out of here, moon. Fuck off, moon. You know what, let's just do this in one orbit's time. Two orbit, three orbit's time. Because then we'll get the exit velocity right, but also avoid the moon. Yeah, see, we can save loads of delta be like that. Boom, nailed it. We'll just need to do a tweak. Okay. Huh. I'm totally going to have enough delta v. It'll be fine. Yeah, see, landing engines. We're good. So this will take five minutes, which is actually totally acceptable. That is a fine burn time. Let's try and turn it. Who needs react? Ah, there we go. It's turning slowly. <laughs> Litho break at Tylo to slow your orbit down like a real Chad. Litho breaking. That's the uh, that's the ticket. Um, <laughs> effort. What even is that? Yeah, effort is for the weak. Um, like Matt Land said in one of his videos sometime, maybe it was his last video, maybe it was an old one, I don't know. I was watching something. Um, I mean, totally not, because Matt Land sucks, but I was watching something Matt Land did. And he was talking about how he, he does plan his, uh, plan his missions, he just takes it as it comes. And I'm, uh, I'm of that doctrine. I think that's an excellent way to do it. Um, you know, I subscribe to the Matt Land philosophy of space travel. Just see what happens. Okay. Okay. Should probably quick save. Because, oh my god, I've drifted. I've drifted. I'm excited. I don't think I have quite enough Delta B. <laughs> but we'll see. We'll see. It'll be fine. Have faith. I think I should, yeah. I think it'll probably be enough. I've got about 4,000 in this stage and 1,300 back up. Although I need some of that for landing, but we can mine more when we get in there. Dudism. That is my real religion, Bane. Uh... Yeah, the the uh, the religion of going with the flow. Um, I, I, I really like that. I think that may be my actual religion. I might put that on the next census. Uh, you know, you just gotta go with the flow, man, you know? It's just like your opinion, man. I fucking love that film. <laughs> oh. Okay, so we're gonna wanna burn it 236-ish. I mean, it'll, yeah, 236-ish, it'll be fine. Uh, probably a little after because of the weight, but I'm not that specific. Um, oh. In uh, my actual series, like, road colonization things, I really did plan everything. Like, I, I put a lot of planning into that. So, like, occasionally I do uh, plan my missions, but um, in this, not so much. You know, it's a stream. We're just going to see what happens. If I'd planned, my rocket would have been less shitty, but it's not shitty if it works. So, okay, I'm going to quick save here, and in a few seconds we're going to fire up those engines, and we're going to go and hope that these don't collide into us. <laughs> Anyone remember, it is it is Wednesday, my dudes, what? No. 2.36, oh god! Was that right? Yeah, who cares? <laughs> Oh, you're a Pastafarian Ash Gaming. That's also a good religion. Um, yeah. Oop, shit. Are we gonna keep an eye on this fuel burn? Okay, we're good. Alright. Feeling good. <laughs> All hail the gospel of the flying spaghetti monster. Indeed. Yeah, yeah, oh shit, right. Cool. Get a good view of the map. Looking good. Looking good indeed. <laughs> damn it, no new line in YouTube comments. You're damn right. There is no new line uh, because then you would just someone would spam my chat with endless, you know, carriage returns. Um. Oh yeah, look at that. Perfect. Oh. It's gonna be great. It's gonna work fine. 
Nothing can go wrong. <laughs> uh, looks like you'd see some shit. You'd see the rebels fly. <laughs> yeah, kind of. Yeah. Uh, let's not forget that this is the first attempt. This is the first attempt. Cytophage pitches. You know. I mean, sure, I have, like, probably about 10,000 10, hours in KSP, but this is my first attempt. <laughs> I'm going to get some water and just leave this to it. Be right back. Ooh, it hasn't exploded. That's a good start. Perhaps quick save. I did quick save. <laughs> Yes, Vane, this is indeed the first attempt at launching. That whole rocket was just thrown together and worked. <laughs> I am quite proud of that. Uh, if I planned it, it wouldn't be shitty, and if it works, it's not shitty. This means that if it, this works, then it must have been planned, indeed. First draft, fuck you, Hemingway. I am basically the Hemingway of Kersby. <laughs> oh no, he's going to overburn, oh no. No, I'm not. It's going to take ages. I'm actually going to... Hmm. Don't spam 13. I have moderators now, although I think... I don't know where they are. <laughs> Somewhere. And I can time you out, so... Ah. How's it looking on the map? Oh, yeah, there we go. Moon encounter. Let's just go to the moon. <laughs> Tip, if you hold alt and press the warp to increase... Then you can enter physics warp. I can enter physics warp, but do you think I want to enter physics warp with this piece of trash? No. <laughs> that would be a bad idea. I actually have two encounters, so I'm going to go and encounter Jewel and then encounter it again in 14 years. So, I'm pretty, yeah, nice. Um. <laughs> oh. Mods might be under the couch. Yeah. Uh, under the couch? What, they drank themselves to it? What? Go to advanced setting and turn on the advanced maneuver node things. I don't remember what it's called. I can look it up. Just, yeah, no, that's just down here. I don't need advanced maneuver nodes. I honestly don't even really need maneuver nodes. Not to toot my own horn, but, uh, you know, they're, they're a bit of a guide. <coughs> yeah. Still got our moon encounter. Soon we won't. Um, I do use the tweakables a bit occasionally to get stuff really close, but yeah. A first try like the Soviets. Well, a lot of their space first tries exploded, but yeah, kind of. Good Soviet engineering. Definitely started that burn too late. Didn't take account for the uh, extra acceleration, but I think we should be okay. Gonna keep an eye on the map. Yeah, it's looking okay. We're out at Dres, which I do not acknowledge the existence of. Yeah, it's looking okay. It might be slightly delta v inefficient, but I think this should be good. Um, yeah. So, I think my country opens up tomorrow from the old coronavirus. We can uh, go to the pub, get a haircut. Go to the pub, then get a haircut. Go to the movies? I don't know, I think so. That'll be good. I have shares in Cineworld. Uh, I need them to go up. I need that cash money. Yeah, maneuver notes are just maneuver suggestions, vain. Um, <laughs> oh, look, we're almost there. Are we there yet? Yes. Okay, we definitely fucked that up a bit. Let's point prograde. Yeah, there we go. Not too bad. Not too bad at all, actually. Bring that in. Save as fuel later. Excellent. Okay. I'm gonna warp out of the system and then plan my fine tune. The advanced setting can predict when you start your burn for you. Oh, right. I see, so it predicts when I should actually start my burn. That's smart. Maybe I should be less dismissive of modern technology. Um, <laughs> it's fine. I mean, you know, 
I'm not going for that kind of accuracy. If I was playing like a career mode, I would. You know, I do really like to do some intense planning. But it's, it's just live stream messing around, you know. I don't mind too much what happens. As long as it basically works. Um, okay. Let's see if I can just get an encounter with Lay. That'd be really nice, actually. If I could just get myself an encounter. Gonna use the typey types now. Uh, so I think I want to burn like a little bit more. There we go, that's nice. You know, I think I'll just leave it there. And then, what, how much does the insertion burn cost me? And then I can just fish around. Yeah, it's quite intense for an insertion burn, and obviously, you have to avoid all the encounters. Um, maybe I should use a Tylo assist, but maybe I can just do this with raw power. A thousand meters per second of delta V, which I have. That would leave me about 700 to then get into orbit of lathe, which would happen... Oh, yeah, that is tricky, actually. Shit. Maybe if I just burn a little more, like so. I mean, this is obviously a bit of an estimate, because lots of things change, but... Mm -hmm. That brings me into a nice lathe encounter. And cost me most of my fuel. But if we can get that close, ooh, actually should work. I like it. Kilometers. Then how much does that cost me to get into that kind of orbit? Two hundred meters. Oh yeah, wait, we've got tons of fuel. We've got more than enough for this. Nice. All right, let's cancel these future ones and do this tweak. And then we'll figure that out later. Yeah, cool. I thought we were going to be way low on fuel, but we actually have more than enough. Okay. Sandbox is superior to all other game modes. Changed my mind. Um, so I didn't really see the point in science mode. I like the idea. I, I really do like playing career modes. But if you want to just have raw fun, it depends what you like to do. Like, I really like progression and um, sort of slowly building out uh, architecture, which is why I like career mode. But I also like just having messing, messing around, having fun, and building cool shit. And then sandbox is great. That's the way. That's why the game sold so well before career mode is because the sandbox is just so amazing. <coughs> you know. You're building and, well, finishing a roller, Antonio. Does it just roll around? It's just like a big ball? That'd be cool. Uh, a suggestion like the Geneva Convention. <laughs> I'm a little late reading that, but that's, yeah. Yeah, the Geneva Convention It's just a suggestion. The missions need to be better in career mode. I do. They, yeah, I agree, actually. Uh, they do, and I agree. They are incredibly grindy. Um, I don't mind some grind. I, I think that is like a realistic space program, like like SpaceX kind of stuff. But I also wish they had a better progression. Like, I don't want to have just landed on the moon and then it's, say, build a moon base. That's one of my biggest problems with it, whereas well, I, like a, I like a slightly slower progression. I know you don't know how to take on those missions, and you can take a while to do them, but I, I just think... Uh, Maybe I want it more grindy. Yeah, it's not grindy enough. <laughs> I want maximum grind. Uh, Corolla. <laughs> uh, what are you saying about Corolla? Corolla reminds me. I am working on a remake of Fall of Kerbin set in the 50s to 70s. We will still take some time to get up and running, but it will hopefully air soon. That's cool, man. Um... Sounds like uh, good shit. I think the 50s and 60s would be really cool. We plan to do a Korean War kind of era to uh, Fall of Kerbin, but I just lost too quickly. <laughs> you know, I think after like 60 episodes, I think it was fine. Um, but yeah, that'd be cool. I think that's a really good era of time for combat. Um, I think it's like interesting because you'll have long range things and, you know, yeah, that sounds cool, man. Um, uh, yeah. 
I don't like sandbox because of all the available parts fry my brain. <laughs> that is the other nice thing. If you're a little newer to the game, it can be really useful to have like that slow kind of, here's these parts, here's what they're for, you know. Um, but I've been playing for a long time. But even now with all the new parts, they kind of fries my brain a little bit. Like there's just so many new parts that it's, you know, uh, that I'm like, God, what do all these do? Like I just found out about engine plates. Um, yeah, Stratos, I remember you telling me about it. Um, uh, that, yeah, it sounds cool. Um, yeah. And I think you asked for suggestions and then I forgot to reply. I'm sorry about that. I don't know about suggestions. Um, use air park for aircraft carriers. Uh, but do include ships because it makes it so much more fun. It makes it harder, but it makes it so much cooler, man. You gotta go for ships. Um, uh, hey, howdy, Professor Duck. Um, shameless plug, my main channel is called HP Stratos. You'll get all your updates on FOK re Reloaded there. Go check that out, people. Uh, go check out Stratos Reloaded. Um, <laughs> that'll be about 40 people who some of them will click on it. Um, <laughs> but also, uh, yeah, all the video will go up. But still, uh, sounds cool. I do like the, um, I think there's been some debate in the, in the Discord about series of mine going on in other people's sort of shit, like um, how Jimmy kind of did a follow-up to Fighter Jet Showdown, and just so everyone's clear, like, I think that's really cool. Like, I mean, it's not like it's, <laughs> like, some brilliant, amazing idea I came up with. I like that people are inspired by, inspired by the things I do, um, and, you know, try and do more of that stuff. I think that's really cool. Um, means I've done a good job. So, yeah. Anyway, we're at Jewel. Um, air Park is broken whenever you switch away from the Air Park vessel it unlocks. <gasps> oh no. Well, good luck with ships then. <laughs> oh, didn't they change water so that water worked? Didn't they unfuck water at some point in one of the updates? So, maybe you don't need Air Park. I think that's, yeah. Passing the torch, exactly. Um... Yeah, I think it's I think it's really good. I, I really like when people um, rob me of my good. No, <laughs> no, when people are, you know, just kind of carry stuff on. I think it's really cool. What is happening? Add a maneuver. There we go. Got an encounter with Lave. Uh, I should probably tweak this later because floating point errors will wreck your shit. Uh-huh. Near enough. We can tweak it later. Cool. We're going to lathe. And hopefully have enough fuel. <laughs> Sue him. Take all his money. Step two. Step <laughs> number. Profit. Exactly. The reason I say I'm okay with it is so I can sue you later. <laughs> sue you for all the no money that all of YouTube videos make. Um... <laughs> Uh, with the whole 103 subscribers, even one is a lot. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Um, ships work. Aircraft on ships is another story. That's true. Ships will work because of the new water updates, but aircraft on ships, that must be tricky as fuck. Um, what I would suggest for that is claws. Uh, that was the original plan for um, Fall of Kerbin, is we were just going to have claws on our aircraft carriers um, to hold the planes in place. Maybe that'll work. Obviously, the takeoff is a little fucky. Either you, you always got to figure these things out. It's it's tricky. Um, yeah. Uh, or just you know, don't do aircraft carriers. Like have that one simple thing. You know, <laughs> you just have missile destroyers and cruisers. It'd still be fun. Naval combat is a lot of fun. Um, even the modern naval combat is quite good in uh, BD Armory. Yeah. Hey, purple infused. How you doing? Yeah. God, it takes so long to warp to Jewel. <laughs> Are we at max speed? Why is this taking so long? Christ. Well, I guess I can just read chat for the next few minutes. Also annoyingly, World War II ships is dead. Fuck. We have a modified version of the large boats parts with hull breach damage. Uh, so damage hulls actually flood and sink. Yeah, no boilers blowing up. Yeah, World War II warships is like a cool mod, but it's way simpler if you just get even like the new BD Armory. There's this something that I think we used for um, Kerbal Rising, and it's not quite as detailed, but it works fine. 
and it's like simpler and just better. Um, use beetles on your aircraft carriers. Yeah. So the thing with aircraft carriers in this kind of series, though, like Fuller Kerbin, is you want the aircraft to be able to take off under the with uh, the guard mode so that you can defend your aircraft carriers. So yeah. Too bad space combat doesn't work. It basically doesn't work. Yeah. So we. So old style Macy Dean space combat just about works, but that doesn't work for a real series like where you're actually battling. Um, it works for a story based series and the minor battles he did do, but like the Kerbal Rising thing, you could just about get it to work. I think if you were in oh, maybe exactly prograde or retrograde of each other um, or something like that, and the guns would be accurate. It, it, yeah, it was definitely something like that. <clears throat> um, but the missiles didn't really work. BDA has now has orbit attack modes. Oh, yeah. I made VTOLs work with guard mode. Yeah, that's true. Um, yeah, they do work with guard mode, but the thing is parking them on the ship is what I'm talking about. You want to be able to load in. But you can always just cheese that a bit. Um, that's cool that BDA Armory has orbital attack mode. Maybe we'll... Uh, try that out in a stream sometime or a video don't know i did make a video this week i actually edited it um which was crazy i haven't edited in so long and this i started with like a video that needed to be cut down by a lot and edited well <clears throat> and oh man it was a full-on three pass edit which is uh pretty intense oh wow the uh, maneuver stayed excellent let's just tweak it a little bit Ooh, back. Shit. 13. 50. We want 80. Yeah, there we go. That's good. Alright, cool. Let's warp to that maneuver. Um, <clears throat> let's see. Oh, shit. Where's Jewel? Oh, there it is. Didn't you and Beardy try and add infantry to Fall of Kerbin? We thought about it, but oh my god, was that tedious. Um, we did really think about doing that, and it could have been cool, but it wouldn't have worked. It was just too tedious. Um, yeah, I think tanks, planes, and boats was enough. <laughs> Even that was a bit much. Um, oh, you have carrier vessel expansion. Yeah, that's cool. Just smart way to do it. <laughs> Yeah, Kerbal Infantry is like an interesting idea for a mod, but oh boy, was that, you know, eh. Oh, look at that. Beautiful. I love Jewel. And I like the new textures. They are nice. It's like a, just a bit of an upgrade that's like, oh yeah. Just looks so much cooler. Man, it turns slowly. I'm so impressed that this worked. No quick loads yet. <clears throat> First time. I am going to cheat it into the atmosphere, though. I am going to deorbit it without he entry heating on, just because I can't handle entry heating with this. It'll be just, you know... I I could have gotten a million heat shields and balanced it perfectly, but I want to keep the stream to, you know, three hours instead of nine. Um, although someone did offer to pay me for a six-hour stream, so... <laughs> uh. Uh, there's a question in there somewhere. Um, uh, where can I see it? I saw there was a question somewhere. Nope. Can't see it. All right. Let's just do this thing. <clears throat> try without heating first. I'll try it without heating first. Yeah. We will try with with uh, we will we'll, we'll try it with deadly entry and then we'll uh, do it with that. Just before I fuck this up entirely, I'm going to put down an actual quick uh, like a persistent quick save. Try with heating first. Yes, yeah, I know what you mean, Hanglob. Um, so we want 55 seconds ish. And that should get us nice and good. Adds only a Nimitz and a few other carriers, though. That is true. You are limited. You can't build your own thing. But yeah, it's better than nothing. Um, 55 seconds, right. 
Boom. Nice. Please don't tip. You good? You good. You're a little bit fucky because of the wheels, but you're good. <clears throat> yeah. Ooh. You're right. You're right. That spacecraft. You're good. It's fine-ish. I'm sure we'll still get an encounter. <laughs> Not gonna litho break on Tylo, that would be foolish. Oh man, my throat really hurts during streams, so the problem I have in streams is um, the best piece of advice, as I've said a few times in the past, I ever got for YouTubing was never stop talking. And in a video where it's like half an hour, <clears throat> it's not that hard to never stop talking. Because the problem is if you stop talking in a video, it kills it dead. Everyone's like, ah, it's, what, what's going on here? You don't want to hear silence in a video. Um, and I've carried that over to live streams, and now I don't think I know any other streamers who basically never stop talking for three hours. Um, but I do, because it's I. That was the biggest problem I had with just like normal live streams for a long time. Is people just kind of would just it was mostly silence, and it's like this isn't fucking interesting to watch. And I'm not quite as there. There are more breaks in my live streams than my videos, but I think for ninety percent of the time I'm talking. So. You know what, I think, uh, I don't know why, oh yeah, I was saying because my throat hurts, but it does make my throat hurt. <laughs> yeah, but I think uh, all content like this needs to be full of full of words, otherwise it's just not as good, you know? Um, yeah. Okay, looks good. Okay. No, don't turn, god damn, god damn. Okay, how's that looking? No, don't want that! Nope. <laughs> For God's sake, man. Focus! Ugh, we need to burn more or less. I think less, actually. Periaps is 524. Oh no, more! Good, that's useful. Don't have to turn the ship around. 100 kilometers, good. Well, there's no commentary gameplay. What? Um, well, there are no commentary gameplay videos. Having a chat helps with making conversation, especially. Yeah, definitely. Especially when it isn't uh, flying fast at a thousand meters per second. That is the other good thing about this kind of level of chat, where you've got like a decent amount of viewers, like enough viewers to have some chat, but not so many that you can't see it. Um, we are going to get an encounter, yeah. It makes, there's a lot more to talk about. Like, it would be really hard to just talk for three hours by myself making a video. Like, I couldn't really do that. Well, I could. I'm, I'm, ma I'm masterful at talking. Um, <laughs> not not in, like, skill, but in volume, you know? The volume at which I talk is uh, my, where my skill lies. <laughs> um, actually, funny story. I, so I, I quit my old job a few months ago, and we used to have, like, loads of meetings, and... I can't stand like an awkward silence in a meeting where someone asks a question and then just no one answers. I'm like, fucking say something. So I always end up saying something because because um, I can't stand the silence. Uh, that's probably good. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, anyway, so I always end up saying something. So all of these meetings were absolutely silent except for me. Um, and then I, when we were leaving, they were, everyone was like, yeah, man, it's going to be such quiet in these meetings. And I've been talking to some of the people I work used to work with because we're still friends. And they were like, God, the fucking meetings are quiet. <laughs> so it's a useful skill to have in the workplace. Quantity has a quality all of its own. Exactly. That's what I think. That's why I've produced over a thousand videos. Oh. It looks like it's held together by magic. Yeah. It's held together by struts. And good is good steel. Yeah, the annoying thing about Ley that doesn't have a ton of land, it's mostly water, so we'll have to kind of plan this sort of well. <laughs> we want to land on a decent part of land. Now this is amphibious, so we can sail it, but it is slow as shit, I bet. So I didn't really test it that well as a boat. What are your thoughts about furries? Um, you think they're weird? I think whatever you want to do, man. I think uh, whatever makes you happy. 
And that's kind of my whole... I don't really have political views or like anything like that. I just kind of want as many people to be happy as possible. So, you know, if you can find a weird thing that you're into and it makes you really happy, that's great. Just, you know, as long as it doesn't hurt anyone. As long as it doesn't turn into rainforest. Because um, <laughs> that wasn't quite so wholesome as like having a nice thing you're into. Um, yeah. Furries are cruel and propaganda. Struts equal magic. They do. Uh, Alright, that's probably a good time to burn. Yeah, so that's my whole thing. It's just <laughs> furry mass genocide. See, that's the problem, is when you're not accepting of people just being happy, you always end up, it's always genocide. Um, <laughs> you know? If people would just chill, like, you know, we'd get on much better. Okay. Alright. Okay, we need a little bit of Delta V for deorbiting. And we could use my landing fuel, but I don't really want to, so let's cut it off there. Although we want to land in the light. Fine, deorbit a little more. We've got tons of landing fuel. We don't need 1,300 kilometers, 1,400 meters per second of Delta V. Um, Oh, but this is rotating around Jewel, so it'll eventually be in the light. Well, whatever, we can... Yeah, we're good. Anyway, we're here at Jewel. First try, nailed it. Let's quick save. <laughs> like that, just in case I totally fuck it up. I don't know why we took about furries, but I'm... <laughs> but I'm just hold on to my shotgun for safety. Hey, Maximus Light. Oh, yeah, you're a mod. Oh, you've been a mod for a while, I guess. Um, <laughs> yeah, just keep your shotgun ready. Uh, but genocide makes you happy, Vane. Well, in that case, man, go for it. Like I said, I'm all about happiness, no matter what that means. Happiness, as long as it hurt, doesn't hurt anyone, man. No, no genocide. Um, <laughs> I know furries aren't bad, but I do like genocide. Indeed, Vane, indeed. Um, <laughs> all right, boys, one of two things are going to happen. Tape lands this work of art on the first try, or it blows up. At the hands of the communist space penguin Sams, of course. Yeah, obviously, it wouldn't break because of my incompetence. It would break because of cruel and propaganda. That's always the way, man. All right, let's think about landing. So we want this to be kind of there. I guess. Because that's like the biggest bit of land, really. Isn't it? Is there a big bit of land on the other side? I can't really remember. Hmm. <laughs> Blows up. It's going to blow up because I'm going to try this first with um, re-entry heating on. Um, but then, at some point, I'm going to quick save now. Quick say five. Um, but then at some point, I'm going to try this with re entry heating off <laughs> if it blows up. <laughs> so I don't think it'll work first try on account of me being very noble and, uh, you know, doing this with re entry heating on. Um, all right. So we want these landing engines first. Right, where the hell is my retrograde? Because it's going to be kind of hard to figure this out. I should have put a probe up top, really. Actually, if I just control from here for now. Um, so I'm pointing prograde. No the fuck I'm not. I'm going that way, aren't I? Yes. I guess it's upside down. We'll just test that theory. Okay, yeah, theory is correct. Okay, that's going to be a hard fucking re-entry, Peter. Can I back it up? Yeah, yeah, that's actually going to back. It up. Yeah, there we go. Let's make it more like twenty. I'm also going to probably need to try this again to get the landing spot right, because I think I fucked this up. But anyway, uh, yeah. 
So it's going to burn up right now. <laughs> ah, yes, hello. Jimmy made me a mod at some point. <laughs> That's right, lol. I thought I made you a mod on YouTube anyway. I have no idea. So, let's watch this gloriously burn up. Um, if it doesn't, it's going to be so fucking annoying because I didn't land it near any land. And it's going to, if it fucking survives, I'm going to be so pissed off. Because I'd be so annoyed if it just fucking works. And uh, I didn't even bother pointing it at the right place because I assumed it wouldn't. That'd be just my luck. Oh god, you know what? I think it's going to pissing work as well. <laughs> oh no! Why does it have to work? Controlled crashing, indeed. Don't work. Oh, I guess actually, depending on the sailing speed, we could get it to some land. I'm willing to do that just, just for the fucking, you know, <laughs> just, just to say that I could. Just so that I did it first time. With re-entry hitting on. I'm willing to do that. I am willing to sacrifice my sanity for pride. Because I could go up to this island. But I want to go to this island. <laughs> it is a boat, though. It is a boat! It is a boat. You know what? If it moves quickly enough... <laughs> Which it definitely fucking won't. <laughs> I might just do this first time. It, it survived re-entry! I am... Look, no cheats. No cheats. Amazing. Look at that. Beautiful. Beautiful. I can't believe it survived re-entry. I really should have put the drogues in a different thing. Come on, drogues. Let's get you out there. Come on, drogues. Go, go, gadget drogues. Beautiful. Now the tricky thing will be actually landing it. Is it you? Uh, you, you are a lifting body. I am. I could fly it a bit. I don't have enough authority to fly it though. It doesn't respect my authority. So you meant this won't be an episode of Blunderbirds? <laughs> no, I'm a different guy. <laughs> May not be a good boat, but it is a boat. It is a boat. It's not a good boat. Actually, I'm not sure if it does float at this point. Let's pull the main chutes. Everyone said it wouldn't fucking work. It did work, Vane. Everyone keeps doubting me. You thought the rocket wouldn't work. You thought this wouldn't work. You know? Clearly, I am a genius. <laughs> I might just take it to this bit of land um, if I can move it. If not, I'm gonna, yeah. If it doesn't work, if it doesn't float, it's a sub. Indeed, it's a submarine. It could still fail. I could still fail to land this, so let's not, you know, let's not praise me too much. You know, we don't want me getting too arrogant. Because I'm already pretty bad. Okay, let's slow down a bit with the engines. Oh, ho, 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 ha, ha. Oh, shit, that's too much! Let's turn on the RCS. Come on! We got this. We got this, we got this, we got this, we got this. We got this, like... Oh yeah, 20 meters per second. That's a little high, but we're okay. We got engines. <laughs> it's gonna work. You all doubted me. You all said I was mad. <laughs> oh. It's not gonna hit the water too fast. Because I got engines. Oh, it's gonna hit the water too fast. Gonna, it's got too much forward thrust. Forward velocity, even. Don't overtake the parachutes. No breakages. No fucking breakages. Oh, yeah, baby. <laughs> First time! <sighs> it feels good to be amazing. It's a quick save there. Okay, if we can just get it moving with the jet engines... That would be legendary. We've flown this whole way with the goddamn ladder down. 10 out of 10. Lathe blows up. Never doubted me. Yeah, you did. <laughs> it, it made sense to doubt me, but you fail to understand the level of just ridiculousness that I am able to achieve by not understanding anything. 
See, if I understood what I was doing, none of this would work. Oh yeah, it's definitely not moving on these two jet engines through water. Oh no, the thrust limit is down. I was like, God, that is a bit much. <laughs> it's moving. It's a boat. Quick save after shutting down the vectors. It's a fucking boat. <laughs> Point 0.2 meters per second. We can do this. We can get more thrust. I need to turn. Yeah, I don't think it's going to work as a boat. <laughs> oh, man. Same logic that Danny uses that day. Exactly, if you don't understand anything, you can't get it wrong. <laughs> Look at Jewel hanging in the sky. Beautiful. I think what I'm going to do is retry this and get it closer to the land, because I do want to drive it around. Obviously, I want to be right. No, I decoupled the rover! Which was also the control point shit. Um, okay, alright, we're okay. Oh no. It's okay, don't worry. I can't open the cargo... don't need to open the cargo ramp. I need to drive the rover slightly forward. Oh, I'm time warping. Why am I time warping? Come on. Rover. There's no one in the rover. Uh-oh. This could be a problem. Hmm. <laughs> solutions, solutions, solutions. Okay. Can you... Okay. I need you. I need someone. Probably you. In here. I need you to get out. Jedibidus. Oh, look at these cool new spacesuits. I haven't actually seen them yet. They are cool. Can I get you? Okay. If I open the ramp, if I open the ramp, I can have him swim in the back. <laughs> I want to solve this problem. Am I looking at the robot? Yes. Oh, I'm pressing P, not switch vessel. So will you open the ramp. You swim in the back, get in the rover, get it reattached, and then we can do this. Whoa, that was weird. EVA, Kerbal. Oh, shit. Come on. Come on, man. There we go. There we go. Let's get in the back. Can I get in, though, is the real question. I reckon I can. I reckon I can just about do this. Okay, come on. If I can just get around the back. Ah, uh, that's going to be a problem. That's going to be a problem. Okay, okay, if I can do some parkour. I can definitely parkour this. Parkour! Parkour! Park! No, I can't parkour this. Okay. Alright, but I think I may have moved it enough to... Come on. There we go. Come on, man. Grab on the back. Yes! No! Board! Yes! <laughs> but don't drive off the edge, because then we're really fucked. What I need is to switch back, activate the arm. There we go, we nailed it! See, I know what I'm doing. But I may I may very well actually reload, because I don't think this is going to be able to get moving enough to get over there. <laughs> I think it's just too heavy. Um, unless... I do have quite a bit of Delta V. I want to see if I can go any at any speed, um, but <clears throat> if I can't, I could fly it with the VTOL engines. If I repack the parachutes, a thousand kilometers, uh, one kilometer might not be enough, but we can try it. Might as well. If not, I can just reload and we'll do it again. <clears throat> so I need to be pointing directly north. Yeah, probably about directly north. It turns quite slowly. Wait, I have reaction wheels. What am I doing? Needs more thrust. Yeah, yeah, Max, it does. But uh, we're two and a half hours. We're three hours in at this point. This is as much thrust as we're getting. <laughs> I'm not going back to Kerbin for this. I flew this here legitimately. <laughs> okay, I think Nat is pointing in the right direction. 
Maybe it could go a little more north. I think directly north would be good. Sorry for the mad amount of mouse scrolling. Okay, cool. That's good. Time warp, just because I can't be bothered. Uh, forward thrust. How fast can we go? Extremely fast? I'm hoping extremely fast. 0.2 meters per second, 0.1. Not loving it. It's also got... No, oh, it's about right. It's not super fast. It's too bad wings uh, wouldn't survive a touchdown or I'd say hydrofoil or thing. Yeah, right. I probably could because I have engines. I could have done that. But uh, it's a bit late, dude. You wonder if it can fly. Wonder no longer. Okay. I want to do this legit. I want to do this first time. I need to repack all the parachutes. Ugh. Okay, you get out the top. You might not be getting back in, bro. So just prepare for your imminent death. Um, but if you could repack these, that'd be tight. Because... Uh, if you can repack them as well. That'd be great. Because it'd be really good if we could fly this legit. And, you know, prove all the haters wrong. Not that there's any haters. There were just people who genuinely were like, Yeah, this isn't going to work. But, you know, there is no limit to how... S <laughs> How little I understand, such that I can make everything work. <laughs> it's the approach I take to programming. Just just write code until it works. Um, <laughs> boss is watching. It's like, oop, fire that guy. Okay, all the parachutes are repacked. I think I can restage them, but honestly, who knows? It's KSP. We'll give it a shot. I don't, uh, oop. <laughs> he fell off. Luckily, it's a safe vehicle. And he can just get in the science lab. Okay, I forgot to. Mmm. Okay. <laughs> That's not great. <laughs> Repack. Repack. And you go and join him in the science lab. Nice. You're missing some shoots. <laughs> I know. Alright, let's try and restage them. I don't know if this will fucking work, but we'll give it a shot. Um, because the staging is always fucky. I could set up an action group though, couldn't I? Because you can now edit action groups in flight. Which would be pretty good. So let's do that as well. Edit action groups. That is so cool. I haven't done this ever before. Um, edited them in flight. Deploy shoot. Oh, very cool, very cool. Cha cha, very cool. Uh, so that'll be them. And then these will deploy separately. I don't think this is going to work, by the way. And that, that saved. Yeah. Tight. Okay, so, to be clear, yeah, oh, it will work. Okay, you forgot the issue. Oh, yeah, yeah, I got them. Um, your IQ is overflowing tape. I'm not sure IQ is the right thing. Um, incredible stupidity. Why is this all fucked up? Are they activated? All the staging is just wrecked. That's activated. That's activated. That's activated. Okay. I have no idea. Sure. I think it's just missing that there. It hasn't loaded in. As far... Yeah. Okay. Alright. 1000 meters per second of delta V. God. More than enough thrust. If I can just haul myself north. Let's go! Oh, oh my god, turn on the RCS. Sweet Jesus, turn on the RCS. First time. <laughs> I may have overcooked that one. Mm, wasting quite a lot of fuel. Yeah, not feeling great. 
activate these engines. <laughs> nah. Nah. Flip it around. Land it. Land it, land it, land it. No! <laughs> it's not dead, though. <laughs> okay, what I'm going to do is go back to orbit um, with quick save 5. Yeah. That was the uh, limit of my skill. <laughs> Taking off from water. Um, yeah, it's not going to work, Max. See, I said it would. <laughs> Knowing how things work is for people who want to do extreme engineering or building liberators, but definitely not conquering the world. Let's face it, lots of people do not understand, <laughs> with no understanding did it. Exactly. You know. So, I'm going to warp around again. And I'm going to try and land closer to land. <laughs> so I landed sort of not that far off where I put my... I reckon if I put my periapsis here, we might be able to hit land. I think that might be the way to go. Right. <sighs> That's just not that much land. Is there land on the other side? How much? What's the biggest swath of land? I'm going to get a lathe map up right now. Um, and just check if there's just a bigger bit of land to land on. I've totally forgotten. There isn't. It's all just tiny pieces of bullshit. Okay. Uh, there is a slightly bigger continent on the back, or is that what I'm looking at? I think it's what I'm looking at. This is like the densest piece of land. It's a shame about my inclination, really. Because I guess I want to land here, then, really. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> Shoot the spin me right around, baby. So when are you going to run for president tape? You have my vote because of the rover. Ah, you know, I think maybe uh, 2024. Um, <laughs> I think people will be uh, ready for crazy again. Um, how much would an inclination change cost me? Probably a fucking lot. Uh, I'm guessing. It's not impossible to do. That wouldn't help me that much, though, honestly. I guess I could wait until this lands here and I might have a better option. Hmm. You know what? I'm just going to go for it. See what happens. We can take as many attempts as we need. Um, let's get this pointing retrograde. Control from here. And let's get a pointing retrograde. <laughs> Tape used up all his skill points on the VTOL landing. I did. Um, you know. <laughs> he is president in exile. I know, right? Yeah, all my skill points were used up on the landing. I couldn't, obviously, do it again. Uh, okay, I am actually going to say with the staging correct. Because um, we'll do a quick save six. And those are all the main shoots. Okay. Um, nice. Right, let's fire up the old engines. Please don't pull the shoots. God damn it, man. Stage. Why do I have to hit it so many times? Restaging in KSP really barely works. Oh, way too late. Let's just go way harder into the atmosphere. This can only go well. <laughs> now tape's just doing mad shit. See what's going on. Um, this is going to burn up hard. <laughs> there wasn't a lot of points. Damn, DJ Mac, burning me up over here. Oh, no, I need you to point prograde, you fuck. Oh, I'm liking it. I'm liking it. I think we're still going to overshoot, but if it can re survive re-entry, that's all I need to know. And then we'll take a third attempt. <laughs> Come on, can it survive a hard re-entry? Because if it can, then we can land on land really easily. Oh, look how beautiful Jewel looks. <laughs> Thumbnail. <laughs> Burn up like a firework. Indeed. I'm liking this. What, what is this down here? Got a microphone and a thing? I think NVIDIA's fucking around? I don't know. 
We've got a bunch of symbols on screen. You can't see it in the stream, I don't think, but still. Oh, something burned. What do we lose? Oh, a wheel. Hmm. <laughs> Could be a problem. <laughs> it's not much of a boat, so it's a bit fucked if it can't be a rover. Okay, so it can't re-enter quite this hard, but it can re-enter pretty hard, is what I'm learning here. We'll see, actually. We need to get into the thick, into the thick stuff before we know exactly how hard we can re-enter. Because it'd be nice to be able to re-enter harder, because then it's easier to pinpoint your landing. No, it's not actually that impressive from the cubular. Still, though, only one wheel down. Not bad. And that was almost right, actually. So we could just take it back a bit. I don't reckon we could do this. K. K, K, K. Alright. One less K. K, K. <laughs> Never I fucking parachute this, yeah. Obviously it doesn't really boat, as we found out, so... But still. Okay. Let's load up. Quick save, ASICS. And get going. Tape is only using 0.1% of his power. If he used 0.2%, he would have landed than floors. Who would have landed on land floors flawlessly the first time? Exactly. Yeah, the Mark III space plane parts are super tolerant, man. They're good shit. So we want to warp around one more time, and then what do we want to put it slightly closer? So I think I put it like here-ish. Um, yeah, we'll just trial and error this. Yeah, I think there would be good. Am I pointing actually retrograde? Yep. Let's get those ensigns fired. Ensigns? Engines. We'll try this. Okay. Oh god, too hard. Okay. Back it up. Back it right up. I think that'll be fine. That's not quite as hard, but I think we should land here, maybe? That's total conjecture. I think you need the flat side up profile too narrow. Eh, I think I want to protect the smaller parts by going front first. Um, that's my plan, basically. That's why I'm doing it as I am. Let's control from here. Nice. I think this is looking like it could... Oh, I think I'm going to overshoot quite a way, actually. Yeah, way too far. We'll see. I want to see how close, and then I can tweak it. Um, actually, pinpointing a landing in atmosphere is tricky. Um, that was never going to be first time. I'm, I'm impressed how that I landed, you know, went from Kerbin to the surface of Lathe first time. No cheats. But, um... Oh, this might do it, actually. Maybe. I think it's going to slightly overshoot. Um, did anyone, anyone see where I put it? I didn't really... Mm, we'll see. I'm feeling actually pretty good. As long as it nothing burns off. Okay. Let's just start. No, that's fine. Spin to win. Yeah, I would, but I don't have the kind of authority. Oh, maybe I do. And I think this is going to work. Third time is the charm. Oh, I can spin to win. Good shit. Good stuff, Vane. The classic strategy. Less than half the human brain is ever being used at any given time. Isn't that a lie? Wasn't that like a pop science thing for a while and then it turned out not to be true and it was like, no, we just use most of it all the time. Because, like, I think the original thing was like, you can't access all of your brain because a lot of it just, like, beats your heart and shit, so you can't consciously access it. This ladder needs to... Yeah. So, but then everyone was like, does that mean we can use more of it? And it's like, nah, it's not really useful. Look at that. First time. Everyone say that was first time. Or you're getting gulagged. <laughs> first time. Pretty impressive that I managed that the first time. I know, right? Yeah. Pretty crazy. <laughs> Careful. If they find out I'm lying, I'm going to get a drama video made against me about me. Um, I think it's not being used consciously. Yeah, isn't that the thing? Still got a ladder deployed. I know. It's that's how we, that's that's the trick. That's my uh, you know my lucky charm. The ladder being deployed when it shouldn't be. <laughs> okay, drogue shoots away. Drogue shoots away. 
I should be an announcer for something. It's almost as if you planned it. I know. It's almost as if I tried it before. <laughs> In the records, we'll redact the fact that it took three times. We'll change it to say that it took one time. You're damn right in the records we will. First time, comrade. Exactly. <laughs> Don't you dare disagree with that. Now just a land landing. Should be able to do that, no problem. First time. Let's put this on land mode. That's a nice feature. I'm glad they added that. Um... Okay, hopefully at the higher altitude it'll still slow down fast enough. Um, those drogues should get me pointing roughly in the right direction. And let's... When those mains go though, it's going to be rough. So let's fire up. Fire up the Quattro! Old reference to a great TV show. Um, okay. Engaging lethal force, because <laughs> why not? Yeah, I mean, if you can use lethal force, might as well. No Geneva Convention on lathe. That's the way we brought all these kerbals here. <laughs> that was a good. That was, a, that was an all right evil laugh. That was okay. Seven out of ten. Six out of ten. I could do better. Look at that first time as well. That's what's really impressive about this is. No quick loads. I didn't have to try this three times. Like, you know? Beautiful. Yes! Look at that! Oh, we're moving. Oh, God. Uh-oh. Please stop. Please. Plus. Reverse thra thraced. <laughs> I should have done action groups. Okay, these brakes aren't great. It's a little bit heavy for three wheels. But luckily, that's why we have Jet engines. Activate jet engines. Reverse thrust. Reverse thrust. And as we've seen, they are incredibly powerful against this 100 ton craft. Come on, we can do this. Or I could just turn uphill, I suppose. No, they're actually working. Look at that, beautiful. If we can just stop it moving, then it will have no inertia. There we go, awesome. Okay, first time. Cool. I'm going to grab some water. I'll be right back in a second, and then we'll play around with this. The boy radiator is for drag. <laughs> You're a monster. Alright, so first task. Does it drive? Let's see if it drives. Oh, it, yeah. Oh, it's actually pretty pretty nippy. Because it doesn't weigh as much, because it's lathe. It's actually speedier. I'm going downhill, but still. It's, yeah, it's, it's pretty speedy on lathe. Can it go uphill, though, is the real question. Yeah, can't, no. Except when I'm turning, then I get more... Yes, it can as long as I weave, somehow. Um... Okay. So. Ooh, what's that over there? That's fucking cool. We got a... Uh, something shiny. We must investigate. But, why investigate with the whole rover when we could investigate with our scout rover? Ah. Uh, ah. Uh, ah. Uh. <laughs> oh shit. Oh shit. We cannot park on a hill. Oh god. Oh god, we can't park on a hill. I need to investigate what these things are. Those look cool as hell. Um, they're shiny and I want them. Seriously, what the fuck? What? Is that? It's a geezer. Cool. Oh, shit. <laughs> I should really be trying working on slowing this down. There's a cool geezer over there. There's a shiny rock. You know what, I'm going to take this over to the shiny rock, and then the scout rover over to the geezer. Um, I think that'll be cool. Let's do that. Um, and then we're going to look at maybe getting some fuel, doing some shit. It'll be great. Please don't be solid. 
Oh, wow, I'm, I'm really impressed. This is the biggest rover I've ever sent anywhere. Um, oh, Christ. Keep it slow. Mm, we might need some reverse thrust. This is going a little bit fast for my liking. Oh. Yeah, this is by far the biggest thing I've ever sent anywhere. Well, biggest rover. And I'm quite impressed. It's, like, not beautiful, but it has, like, cool little alleyways in it, you know? It's like a big roving base. I really like it. Um, Alright, then we're going to want forward thrust for getting up the hill. <laughs> Please don't be a solid rock. Thank God. <laughs> It'll be bad if they'd updated it like that. Geezers are old people. Um, oh, you say geysers. Are you American, though? Because I'm pretty sure it's geezer. Am I totally wrong about that? I mean, I, I've heard it be pronounced geysers, but I thought that was just the American way of saying it. Maybe I'm wrong. Yeah, I know geezer is like an old geezer. Geez. Um, but, like, I think geezer is how you say it, right? Am I totally wrong about that? Anyway, okay, so... Let's get some old Kerbals out to go and check this little rock out. Let's extend the old ladder. And let's transfer you to here. What? Where did I transfer him to? Uh-oh. Okay, let's transfer you to here. What? Where am I clicking? What is happening? I think I'm accidentally clicking on the lab. Anyway, um... Lots of living space. <laughs> that one there might be solid. Yeah, I think that that one is solid. Geyser. I'm Canadian, I say it however I want. Yeah, yeah but that's like... <laughs> don't get mad, but American. That's... that's yeah. Most of the pronunciation is kind of the same. Um, Alright, cool. <laughs> Geyser is the thing that shoots out boiling water, right? Yes, it is. Unless you're pronouncing it correctly. Geezer. <laughs> I'm almost definitely wrong about this. You also say geyser in German. Oh. Well, you know, that's even less evidence. Um, can I... Why can't I take some piece of this? Maybe I need a scanning arm. Anyway, that's cool. Look at this cool pink rock. Let's put a flag next to it. Um... And obviously the flag will say, landed it first time. Uh, <laughs> um, hmm. Oh, you need an arm. Okay, cool. Uh, does the word inch, foot, pound, or miles make you cringe? No, I live in Britain. We still use all of those. Um, there's this weird thing where everyone's, where people think Britain is a like not dumb as well, but we still we we have half metric, half imperial. Um, yeah, so we all understand all of that as well. America seems to think well, not America, or maybe the whole. A lot of people seem to think America and like a few other small countries are the only people who use the imperial system, but it's like nah, Britain still uses it, like not fully, but a bit, <laughs> like enough <laughs> for it to be like as prevalent as the metric system. We just don't teach it in schools. We teach the metric system in schools. You, you hope my Kerbals didn't uh, develop... Um, no, don't let go. Climb out. Come on, climb out. Climb! Climb, you son of a bitch! Well, guess you're gonna die here. Uh... <laughs> You hope my kills didn't develop uh, orthostatic hypertension? What is a stone? A stone is like 14 pounds? It's something so stupid. Like, I prefer the metric system, obviously, because I'm not a, a fool. But, um, yeah, we still use it. I uh, use uh, the imperial system. But, yeah, I think a stone is like 12 pounds or something. Or t 14 pounds. Which is just so dumb. Perfect. That explosion is expected. It's the stack separator. Alright, let's get out of here. Let's pick up that Kerbal. I think I may have broken this. Did I break it? No, I didn't. Excellent. Because we might need this. 
yeah, so this is the little rover in the rover, which is pretty cool. Um, should have angled the ladders, yeah, should have. It's ironic that the defender of democracy uses <laughs> uses the imperial system. Yeah, I know, right? I don't use the imperial system. It's just prevalent in my country. It's just a strange thing that people. I guess I don't know why they would realize, but America, you're not alone in using an outdated system. We use it still a bit too. Um, anyway, um, yeah, the explosion was strange. Where's the geezer or the geyser? I think it might be geyser. I think I might be wrong here, but hey, we had a fun discussion again about. Pron pron pronunciations. Okay, so we want to head that way to that geyser. Um, anyway, cool. Scout rover! And we want to control from forward. Fuck yeah. On the road again! Fuck yeah. <laughs> I've heard that apparently the US military uses metric measurements. Any know that's true? I imagine they do. Most, uh, all, like, NASA and stuff uses metric. Like, everything where you actually need to measure stuff you use metric because it's just so much easier. Quick save. I've done lots of quick saves. Wookie Goldberg. Amazing name, by the way. Seriously, that is the win the name contest. Not that we were having one, but you know, we'll set one up just for you. Um, <laughs> there we go. I like this robot. It's much more nippy than the big old, uh, the big boy. Oh, it's cool having a scout rover. I like doing this. This is cool shit. Oh, that was the geyser I was originally looking at over there. But we found a new one, and I want to go and see it, because I don't think I've ever seen a lathe geyser. Um, put a Kerbal in the geyser, it should launch your Kerbal. Really? Well, Dudna Kerman, you're going to be a... F you're going to be a... You're going to hold the world first. <laughs> oh, I didn't put any lights on the front of this. That's a shame. Won't be good for driving at night, but it shouldn't really need to drive at night. All night driving can be done by the large vehicle. This is just a small scat rover for day driving. Mars Climate Orbiter. Huh? What? What about the Mars Climate Orbiter? Didn't a satellite crash into a Martian atmosphere by... cause of the Imperial metric stuff? Oh, right! Maybe that's what the Mars Climate Orbiter was about. Yeah, I think uh, there's been a few um, issues, actually, when working between space agencies, um, because different measurements were measured differently. Whoa, it just threw up a bunch of water. I know that's what geysers do, but that's fucking cool. <laughs> I didn't realize the surface features were this interesting. I've just seen like the moonstones and the Mimus sand, but this is cool. And look at this, these new textures, by the way. I haven't even focused on them. That was This was a big part of the stream. So I've been playing Curl Space Program for a long time, and Lathe has looked the same for a very long time, and it's always looked a bit shit, which is a shame because it's such a cool planet. But this, it just looks so nice now. It's really cool. And this is fucking awesome. Anyway, let's get our engineer, one of our engineers out, and uh, he's going to make a little uh, world first right here, if we can get him into the geyser. Geyser. The USA is officially a metric com country the population just hasn't noticed. Really? Is that actually true? Oh look, he can actually climb it! That's so cool! You fucking piece of shit. Get in there! <laughs> can I? No, I think I need an arm or something to discover things about this as well. Come on, you're getting inside. Get inside. Prepare to launch! You wanted to be a pilot, didn't you? Didn't you? <laughs> Hey, uh, dude, why did you only come back with one Kerbal? You know. He he wanted to climb into a geezer. Lathe is a moon. Eh, who cares. Hey, Sir Staples. Yes, Imperial is based on metric nowadays. What? What? Make a helicopter. I think it's a bit late for that. Definition of an inch is based off a centimeter. Yeah, probably. I think, I think that is true, actually, isn't it? Come on, launch me. Hit me. Hit me. I want you to do it. Hit me. Free steam cleaning for your space. Exactly. You've been in a spaceship for like years. Um, you know? Now you get a free shower. Killing POWs via Giza is not stated in the Geneva Convention, so that means it's a it's legal. Exactly. That's what I'm saying, you know? Whoa! <laughs> That was lame, but that was cool. Like, I thought it would be bigger, but it launched him. 
<laughs> How much Delta V was that? Oh, that's very cool. I really like the update to Lathe. I think new textures look great. It looks so much less bland on the ground. Um, and the new geezers. That's cool. Geysers. <laughs> Man. Oh, and you've got Tylo in the sky there, is that? Or Val? I think that's Val. You got... Uh, I don't know, maybe that is Tylo. We could find out on the map. So, then I think... Yeah, I think that's Val. I think that's Tylo in the distance. Am I right about that? So Val is... Hmm. That's strange. So behind me is... Yeah, so I think Tylo... I think that's Tylo, actually. And then in the distance, Val would be, because Val's smaller. Yeah. One or the other, I don't know. <laughs> Pretty cool, though. Anyway, let's get back to the main ship and see if we can drill for some more. Fuck yeah. <laughs> I thought it would be bigger. Never heard, heard that one before. <laughs> oh no! It's okay, we only lost uh, some RTGs. Yeah, it's okay. We just uh, released uh, nuclear material onto the uh, surface. Just, just, you know, stay clear of that bit. <laughs> It still works pretty well, actually. It, uh, it can live without a couple of RTGs. Oh, man. <laughs> oh, I really like this update to Lathe. I think it's really cool. Um, and the geezers make sense, geysers. Because, uh, <laughs> um, you know, it's supposed to be sort of like... Uh, kind of like Europa, right? Like, obviously Europa doesn't have liquid water and oxygen. But it might have liquid water under the surface, so it's expected that there might be like... So that... It's not expected, sorry. I think there is liquid water under the surface because it has geysers um, that they want to fly a spaceship through. So that's pretty cool. <laughs> An inch is based off a centimeter, but meters are based on light speed. The meter of as the length of light... The, the meter as the length of the path traveled by light in a vacuum during the interval of yay of the speed of light um, yeah that makes sense um, you want to find something that's like obviously not uh, that, that's constant and the speed of light is one of those constants as is like um, I guess oh, like the weight of there's a like a thing that's like the official kilogram in the world right and it's like something that has a really specific weight um, and there's also a second is also measured by the number of rotations or something of some I, I don't know I'm not a chemist I it's it's something chemical though <laughs> it's like the oh god what is it maybe it's decay yeah it's something like that anyway they have some physical measure of a second um, yeah maybe someone knows oh look how cool it is from a distance I want to break and take a look at that Oh man, I'm re I'm really impressed with this. Like, oh look how cool that is from a distance. That's just oh, with like Tylo up in the sky. Ah, I really like it. I'm really proud of this. Oh man, it's been a while since I've built. I like this was obviously a bit memey, but it's pretty cool. And I got here. I did get it here legitly. Obviously, I tried a couple of times to actually stick the landing properly, but still. The decay of helium. I don't think... What? No, I think it's uh, something else. <laughs> the kilogram is... The kilogram is a platinum cylinder outside of Paris. Oh, I thought it was something slightly more exotic. But still, yeah, it's cool. One, yes, this is what I was thinking. Wookie Goldberg. One second is equal to nine-ish <laughs> billion periods of the radiation corresponding to the transition between the two hyperfine levels of the ground state of cesium-133 atom. Exactly. That's basically what I said, pretty much. About as eloquently as well. Uh, <laughs> Alright, let's get this in there. Can it get back in? It can. I know we've tested this. And we've got the arm to grab it, which is extra cool. Come on. Just wiggle in. And then slam on the brakes. And then activate the arm. Or arm the arm. And then move it forward very slightly. Boom, nailed it. 
All right, cool. Um, let's see if there's any ore here, I guess. Um, yeah. I'm glad I included the jet engines, because uh, they are very useful. I mean, I definitely want to see it at night as well. All right, let's get the radiator going. Open up the old cargo bay. And deploy the drill. See if we can make some fuel. I obviously didn't scan for ore, so there might not be any here. Thermal efficiency is bad. What's going on here? Why is the thermal efficiency so low? Whoa, there's loads of ore. Nice landing, Peter. Nice landing. Oh, okay, the thermal efficiency is up to... Yeah, nice. Cool! Can I do elef... Yeah, elephanox. And that. Nice! We're making fuel, baby! <laughs> oh, I'm so surprised this worked at all. First time! <laughs> Speed of light equals fast as fuck. That's all I need to know. Exactly, DJ Mac. That's exactly right. Ooh, it's a little low on power out here on the rim. <laughs> well, we should probably mine and then refine. Oh, it's actually making fuel pretty quickly, though. That's really quite cool. And this will only work in the day. But luckily the days are long on lathe. Still, though, look at that. We made a bunch of fuel. That's cool. Ah, self-sustaining rover. Self-sustaining base rover that's also a shitty boat. <laughs> I don't think you can even call it a boat. Okay, let's stop the uh, refining. We've proved our point. Lathe nose. Let's retract the drill. Yeah, I should have thought about maybe including some uh, solar panels that I could pop up while I was drilling, but I didn't really think about it. Because <laughs> I don't think about things. Okay, I want to see this at night, though. I want to do some night driving. Um, I should probably call this a day in a bit, because it's like half eleven. <laughs> um, Alright. But I'm having so much fun. Oh, wow. Oh, it looks cool at night. Let's do some night driving. Oh, let's make sure we retract this. Retract. Alright, it's night driving time. <laughs> This light is so shit, it doesn't do anything. It doesn't light up the back at all. But yeah, you can see the streets are all lit up. The two streets we have. Oh, I should retract this ladder. There we go. It's pretty slow, but we are going... Why is it so slow? Maybe because we're carrying a tiny bit of ore. <laughs> well, we do have more fuel now. Maybe that's why it's so slow. You're not producing thrust, are you? I guess it's got it's it's on flat land, so maybe it's I don't know. Hmm. Very cool though, and look oh wow. It's mad. Man, I love this thing. Press A and D to get some more speed. Oh yeah, you can weave a bit and get more speed. Um okay, we're going too fast now. Too fast. Huh. Oh. <laughs> God, I love this. Just impressed that it works at all, honestly. Oh, yeah. 30 meters per second. Do 100 miles an hour, downhill. <laughs> Very glad I included the jet engines. They're shit for being a boat, but it does make it pretty, uh... Your, are you, uh, issues hearing me? Let me check. Oh. Thirty meters per sounds fine to me. Must be your audio, man. Um. Oh, night driving. A lot of fun. Well, not that much fun, but you know, it's cool. It's aesthetic. Um. He's loud and clear and deep. You're damn right. Deep as hell. Really want to say something else? Very inappropriate. It would be totally inappropriate to say balls deep. That'd be really, <laughs> really inappropriate. Uh, <laughs> I know, yeah, it's a pretty good image. It's much higher quality than my old streams. I was watching some of them back and I'm like, oh god. Um, but it's much easier now. Hardware encoding's gotten pretty good. I was rendering a video the other day, um, and it's like twice as fast as two years ago. 
because I've just got like better software that uses proper hardware encoding now, and it's just like miles better. Ah, oh. two kilometer, two and a half kilometers, pretty quickly. Can we drive to the sea? It'd be pretty dark. And the RTGs are actually enough for us to drive at night. That's really cool. <sighs> Alright, I might, uh... How far to the sea? Oh, yeah, it's, it's quite far to the sea. It's not un impossible. Oh, jewel rise. Nice. Although jewel will can constantly rise because it's tidally... Lathe is tidally locked. Anyway... I think I'm going to call it here. Uh, going to slow on down. Going to get the little rover out for a quick spin. Um, <laughs> Teslas need RTGs case closed. Yeah, they're not actually very good for generating enough power for driving. Um, <laughs> I'm going to get the little rover out. And then I'm going to call it a day. But I've had a lot of fun on this stream, actually. I wasn't sure this was going to really work out. But uh, it really did. And I'm really uh, happy that I did it. Because I, I actually feel sort of accomplished in KSP after doing this. I haven't done anything, a rover of this scale, and actually sent it somewhere legitimately, absolutely first time, no quick saves. <laughs> Ever. Yeah, so. Good shit. Uh, let's open this up, maybe that'll slow me down a bit, or blow up the whole world. Hopefully, yeah, uh, the first one. And there we go. Uh, disarm. Oh no, no, not, don't, not disarm, release. And disarm, actually kids when we drive back in. We don't want to be grabbed at a weird angle. Um, trust me, it's never fun to be grabbed at a weird angle. Gagoogity. <laughs> are RTGs radioactive? Aren't RTGs radioactive and hot as fuck? They are indeed. It's a plot point in the Martian. Why are you being weird? Come on, man. Come on. Oh, I guess I am trying to back up. Heal. Uh, back up uphill is what I meant to say. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this. I certainly have. I've had a really good time this stream. It's been really fun. Um, why do you keep stopping? What is happening? Why is this so fucked up? It keeps just stopping straight away. It's like the brakes are on. Oh, I think they were. <laughs> I think they were, it just wasn't showing up. Anyway, yeah, like I was saying, I've had a really good time in the stream. Uh, this was really fun. Uh, thank you all for watching and showing up. And uh, I guess I'll see you next time, whenever the next stream or video happens to be. So yeah, thank you all for watching. See you next time. Really good time in the stream. Uh, this was really fun. Uh, thank you.